thank you for tuning in to Heart Ministry Radio Network and the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I'm your host, Brenda Divers, and today I have with me, and actually we've been together for quite some time. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> quite some time today. Oh Amen. Um, this is Apostle Estella Priest, true woman of God, Amen. woman of God, and there's a backstory. <laughs> <laughs> We had planned to do something earlier, and it didn't happen the way we anticipated. Absolutely. But we were able to share some time. Yes. Oh, my God. Some beautiful time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some anointed time Jesus, in the studio today. Yes. So, you know, we, yes. we, we, we just have to sit back some time and let God do what he does. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so thank you, Apostle, for just spending some time with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed Amen. It so, so my first question is always, what was your conversion experience and how you came to know the Lord? Can you share that with us? I can do that. I guess about um, six or seven years old, I used to have experiences with God and mm. I didn't really understand what was happening. I would like, if I would be in church and if somebody preached a real fiery sermon or somebody testified about mm. the goodness of God, mm -hmm. I would just feel like, you know, all these like chills just running all over my body. And I felt like screaming. I didn't know what to <laughs> at do. At six or seven. Because it just, yeah, at six or seven, because it just felt so good. Mm. And then I realized that um, as I got older and I kept going to church, I felt this need and this desire to be in the house of God, mm. to be connected to God. Yeah. Even though I wasn't living right, mm -hmm. but I wanted to be in the house mm. of the Lord. Amen. So finally at the age of 22, after, you know, being in and out, mm -hmm. in and out, mm -hmm. I finally gave my life over to the Lord. And oh my God, it was the most amazing mm -hmm. experience that I've, I've ever experienced before in my entire life. Wow. And when I repented and invited Jesus to come in, I mean, he came in Thank all you, the Jesus. way. Thank I you, have Lord. not regretted that decision. It's been since April 5th, 1982. Wow. Have I walked the chalk line, perfect chalk line, dotted every I and crossed every oh. T? No. But I do enjoy my walk with the Lord, and it has mm. been sweet as the days Amen. go by. I love him more and more mm. every single day. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He gets Amen. sweeter. He gets sweeter. <laughs> as the days go by. Remember that oh song. Oh, God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. And again, this is just so good, Apostle, because we've been able to spend time. Yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> right? Yes, ma Sometimes in and out, in and out. But just so grateful to be able to spend some time yes. Yes. with you. Today, we're, we have a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about first your book. Yes. From Tragedy to Triumph. Yes. Now, this is a page turner. I'm going to let you know. <laughs> I know you gave it. I was like, wait, I'm doing, I was turning those pages. It's so, I love life stories. Yes. Yes. And to know where God has brought you from, what, you know, what he's brought you through. Because sometimes, just to look at you, you would think that she's never been through a thing in her life. Oh. Huh. You know, but the opposite is true yes, right he brings yes, us through things yes, so we can so we can grow in him so Absolutely. we can talk about him you know in this world and we just we are so thankful for his leading we don't always like the sick the circumstances that's right that's right <laughs> but we God. know when we go through them that we are fortified in him yes Lord. we are fortified in him Absolutely. so from tragedy to triumph mm -hmm. can you tell us what happened how god started this process for you okay I was um, married and um, it was a really traumatic divorce. I mean, like I said, that literally almost killed me, almost took me out of here. Wow. Had I not had a relationship with the Lord and, you know, through prayer and fasting and mm. getting other things to, you know, pray for me. Yes, yes. So I started documenting different things that was happening in my life and some things I'd already experienced. The book has seven chapters. Mm -hmm. So the first, like, four chapters, first three, excuse me, I lived and then the fourth mm. chapter on, you know, it's when I got married and then these traumatic things started to happen to me. And um, I realized that there was a book inside me. There was a story to tell because yeah. sometimes we go through things and we can't really understand what God mm -hmm. is really doing yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. But God has a perfect plan. And I realized that it wasn't all about me, even though it happened to mm. me. It wasn't all about me. And God just wanted to get the glory yeah. out of the story. So I started mm. writing and started writing and started writing. And some things, I mean, you know, I didn't even put in the book because it was just so traumatic. Yeah. God said, don't even share that part. Uh -huh. But were the things that he wanted me to share, uh -huh. I did share. And I realized that, you know, this book was inside me, so I had to get it out. It's almost like somebody who's pregnant, mm. you know, yeah, had and to it's time birth. to give yes. I had to give birth yes. to that book. Yes. It was pushing, uh -huh. and I had to really get it out. And I realized that, um, you know, through that process, uh, 
God really gave me the victory at the end, even though, like I said, it almost killed me, literally almost, I thought I was going to have a heart attack wow. and die, because sometimes when news is delivered to you, yeah. especially out of someone that you don't expect it to come from, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, you know, we're in love, and yeah. we got this all together, but to realize when somebody turns on you, so, I mean, so bad, I mean, it was mm -hmm. just terrible. And I realized that God was my sustainer and he was my keeper through Praise it all, the Lord. through all the wow. tragic situations and circumstances that, you know, literally somebody, if you didn't have a relationship with the Lord, yeah, I would have probably died for real. Mm. But I thank God that he birthed that out of me and it, it taught me something. It, it helped me to love in spite of. Praise the Lord. Because sometimes we want to retaliate uh -huh. when people do things to yeah. us. The flesh wants yeah. to see how I can get you back and what can I do. But through the whole thing, because I was so in love with him during that time, I just kept loving him. I kept praying. I kept fasting, kept going before God. God, mm -hmm. turn this thing around. But sad as it may seem, it didn't turn around. But it made me better. Yeah. And it didn't take you out. It didn't take me out. Praise God. Praise the name of the Praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Thank somebody you, has to know that. It mm. doesn't have to take you out. It doesn't have to. You know, although you feel that it may. Yes. yes. You know, it Absolutely. doesn't have to. If we just totally surrender. <laughs> you know, ask God about it. That's right. That's you know, right. that's right. Oh. He will strengthen us. Yes. And, you know. Yes. Because we get this time after time, people are just going through um, traumatic kinds of things, and you wonder how they're going to make it. Right. And then you see them. Right. And they look like nothing has come upon Absolutely. them. You know, Absolutely. that is the glory of it's God the glory and of the God. anointing of God. You know, that he takes you through the fire. Yes, he said, yes. when you go, oh, right? When you pass through the water. Pass through the water. Come on. Pass through the flood. And wow. when you pass through the fire, mm -hmm. you will not be burned. Mm -hmm. Neither mm -hmm. will that scorch That's right. be upon you. That's right. And again, to look at you, Apostle, you would think oh that you've God. never gone through anything. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. To God be to the, God glory. the glory. And again, I just started reading through the book and I could not put it down. It was so, so, so good. And chapter four. Finally, I'm happily married. What was going on then? Okay. Well, I was wow. married before. Okay. And sometimes you, um, you, you marry out of the will of God and, mm. you know, you don't let God pick the person for you. And the second time when I got married, I really, really was in love with this guy. Mm. I mean, we got along as far as communicating and, you know, just the things of God. And it was just... Like, oh my God, I cannot believe wow. this. It was just so phenomenal. We both were in ministry together. So, you know, we were chasing devils together and, you know, just letting God have the victory. And then that whole thing just turned and went south. But God like still that. in the midst, like I said, you know, to from being unhappily married. And now you have someone that you can communicate with, somebody that you can identify with, somebody that you can laugh with as well as pray mm. with. And then for the tables to turn on you like that, it was devastating. But still, through it all, like I said, I kept believing God, mm -hmm. and I kept fasting, and I kept praying. praying. Yeah. God, turn this thing around. God, I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. God, I know that you're able. And I realized it has to be two willing participants in order for something to turn around. Yeah. It can't be just one, and the other one doesn't want it to turn around. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you know, sometimes things like it happen. Yeah. Sometimes the other person wakes up and says, hey, I realize, hey, the enemy is really talking to me. I need to get this thing together. Mm -hmm. But um, but God bless me. And, you know, like I said, I, I, I survived it. So, But Praise I was Lord. happily married. And I loved him even after mm -hmm. we got the divorce. I was still in love. And it took me a while wow. to get over him. It did. It did. It really, really did. And that's the most painful thing. But you got to learn when God... When you fall into that situation, mm. you can't remain stuck. Only that God can so take us, good. you know, only God can take you through that and realize, okay, that portion of your life it's now over. has passed. Now it's time to walk into something brand new. But it's in God's season and it's in God's timing because I never had a chance to really run him down because I loved him mm. so much. And I think and I know love down. covers. Yes. It covers a yes. multitude of faults and sins. It does. Oh. It does. And it really you know does. what? You've said something really profound. All of you just profound. Um, when God says it's over, when something's finished, that how we have to move on from it. On. Yes. And again, I'm sure you've run across many people who have been divorced or, yes. you know, the relationships have, yes. and yes. someone is still holding on right. to it. Mm -hmm. Although it's dead, they're still mm -hmm. holding on to it. Mm -hmm. The person has moved on. Right. right. You know, even married again sometimes. Right. right. And still kind of holding on. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a word mm -hmm. for that person who is mm -hmm. stuck today. What would you say to them today? 
I would, I would tell them once you've come to the realization that it's totally over and it's done, he's not going to leave that woman and come back to you. Mm. It's time for you to just walk mm -hmm. in the newness of God. Let God do something very fresh and brand new in your life and use this as a ministry tool, as an opportunity to make you better, not to make you bitter. Because yeah. sometimes when we don't understand the plan of God, yeah. we get bitter yeah. and then yeah. we start blaming God. And, you know, and then, you know, you become cold and yeah. you become distant. And, mm -hmm. you, and a lot of times hurting people hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of you ministering gr grace to the people, you start ministering, you know, you spew out venom, every mm -hmm. evil thing that's inside you, all the hurt that's inside. But you have to let go. Yeah. Let go and live because actually when you're stuck in time, you're not really living because mm. you can't really see what God has for your future. Yeah. And God has great purpose for you. So you have to just release it, realizing, okay, God, that was for a period of time, yeah. but that period of time is over. It has passed. It has elapsed. So that means now I've got to just go ahead, God, and go forward. Just go forward. Press forward and let God use you. Don't remain stuck. Yeah. That's it's not good, good for you. That's a good word. That's a good word. That's a word for someone. You know, because there is still a work for you to do. There's still a work to do. You know, there's there's, where there's do. life, there's hope. So yes, there's still a work yes, for you to do. Yes, ma'am. And we have to go, sometimes even go to counseling or, you yes. know, to kind of get yes, through that's right. what this yeah. is, you know, to learn new behaviors right. and, and that true. kind of thing. That's true. So, that's true. you know, don't discount that whole process. Right, right. You know, right. don't, don't right. discount it. That's right. So this is a, this is a good word today. From tragedy to triumph, I'm telling you, this is a good book. It really, it's a, um, it's very beautifully written. Amen. It's um, easy to read, you know, and um, the kind of thing that you just want to finish before, you know, the day is over. <laughs> but you, you have a very powerful, powerful presence, Amen. powerful ministry, and powerful work. So we, we just thank God for just yes. meeting you, the That's opportunity to, oh, to meet likewise. you and spend time. Likewise. You know, wow. because again, God is putting us together for a reason. Yes. You know, there's some Absolutely. things that need to be done in the Over earth, and we have to keep Thank it you, moving and do, and do what mm. He's called us to do. Mm. And it's certainly mm. spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Wow. You know, and and healing. Yes. Right. Apply, applying it. that healing bomb. That's it. You know, to, to the wounds of our, our mm -hmm. sisters in particular. Mm -hmm. So we, we thank God for for you, Apostle. And we know that you have a broadcast, um, Triumph for Jesus. Trumpeting. Trumpeting for Jesus. Uh -huh. The second and the fourth Sunday um, from 845 to 9 o'clock, WCTR, right? Mm -hmm. 15, on yeah, 1530 on, on the web. On the web. Mm -hmm. So trumpeting, mm -hmm. and that's, wow. <laughs> that is so profound. Wow. Trumpeting, you <laughs> yes. know, she is, you're shouting loud. Yes, absolutely. In the spirit. Absolutely. In the spirit, she's shouting absolutely. loud. You know, there's, there's a work, a specific work on your life. Yes. And again, it's applying that healing bomb. Mm -hmm to people, mm -hmm. women in particular, who yes. have been hurt yes. or afflicted mm -hmm. and are kind of stuck yes. where they are, yes, you know. Absolutely. And absolutely. he's given you the anointing and the personality mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to go God. forth in this thing. Amen. You know, it's so, so good to see personalities matching the calling. Yes, yes. Right? Absolutely. absolutely. And again, you trumpet just mm -hmm. by showing up. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> so Come it's been now. so, so, so good. Yes. And in addition to From Tragedy to Triumph, there is another book yet coming. Yes. All right. And how far are we with that one? Uh, I have actually typed it. I'm now proof it's proofing. The proof reading stages. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the name of that? Can you say the name of that one? I can't yeah, say okay. the name of it because I'm quite sure somebody else has that same title. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> it's called Church Hurt. Okay. We hear a lot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I realize that what makes me um, ill and sick to my stomach sometimes mm -hmm. is I hear famous people and leaders saying, oh, everybody keeps talking about church hurt. Just get over it. Who hasn't been hurt? It's mm -hmm. not so easy to say yeah. because it delves into a whole lot of different areas where yeah. people, you know, sometimes you ever wonder why people stop going to church? Mm -hmm because somebody hurt them, whether they were molested when they were little by somebody that they trusted, or whether it was they were forced to go to church, you know, and they really didn't want to be there, or whether, you know, you, you tried living this life and it seemed like it was so difficult, and then, you know, you just gave up and went back out in the world. It's a lot to do wow. with that church hurt, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. But there is a solution. I'm not going to go into no more, but, but there is a Wait solution. Wait for the book. <laughs> There's a solution to this. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. It is. yes, it is. So the book yes. is yet coming, and we're certainly yes. praying that all the pieces will come together quickly Absolutely. Absolutely. for you because there is, there is a population waiting, yes. waiting yes, for that. Yes, but in the meantime, mm -hmm. 
get from tra from tragedy to triumph. Mm -hmm. It's a very again, it's a great story. Amen. You know, it's like it's it's not a fairy tale, Gonna but it reads story. like that mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. so powerful mm -hmm. that can this really happen to someone? Mm -hmm. You know, you. My but God. It, this is a true story. Yes, true story, yes, but it is triumph. That's the part they were focusing on. That's Although right. the tragedy happened, yes. yes, and in many it happened over and over. Right at right. the end of that was triumph. Absolutely. The Lord brought you through. Absolutely. Absolutely. He brought you through. And and that comes from having a relationship yes. with the Lord. And I just keep, I cannot cease to stop talking about the power of God and, and, and what God means in my life. And I've yes. learned at an early age mm -hmm. of my walk with the Lord to always go before God, take everything to God, trust God, even when you can't even see mm -hmm. the answer, even yes. when your faith starts to waver just a little bit, I've learned to just take it to God yes. and bless God and allow me to rise above it all. Just like the eagles mm, when they're flying up yes, in the air the and they soaring. wait for that certain wind to come up underneath yes. their wings to lift them higher. Mm. And that's what the Lord is saying Praise to you. Rise above it all so you can triumph. You don't want to be stuck. Trust me, because somebody needs to hear your story. Mm. Somebody needs to be blessed by what you're going through that you have not yes. told anybody because you're afraid mm. to. But you need to release it in Jesus name because there is much inside you that yes. God wants to get the glory out of. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's it's, a word, Apostle. Amen. That's a word, and that's I'm touching. Telling it's you. it's a stirring up word. Oh my God, I tell you. You know, because mm. again, we we feel that the end is coming. Yes. It's fast. You can feel fast it. Approaching. Yes. So yes. certainly, we have to get out there and do what we need to do for Christ to bring people in. Right. And we're so some of us are hurting so much we can't even do the work. That's true. That we're called that's to true. do. That's, that's in, true. what the enemy is trying to keep us bound. Mm -hmm. So we're not doing the work mm -hmm. we're called to do. Mm -hmm. So there's healing. Mm -hmm. there's there is healing in Jesus. You know, he gives us things. Sometimes just reading a story, it's like, oh, she can do this. She can do this. Wow. By hope. the hope, yes, mm -hmm. there's hope. Mm -hmm. If she can do this and get and look like this, when she comes out, then I can do it too. How about that? Amen. I can Amen. do it too. Amen. So we, we praise God for the, the warrior women yes. that he is rising up. Yes. Amen. You know, Amen. not afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid to go into the darkest places Amen. and shine the light of Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's you know, it. because he's going before us. That's right. You know, That's we're right. not alone. That's right. You know, That's right. I, sometimes I was just, I shook someone's hand the other day. I said, Lord, help them Absolutely. see you even in my handshake. That's right. That's right. That's you know, right. we just want God to be yeah. revealed That's it. in everything we do. And that's, that's really it. why we have been doing, um, you know, the ministry. That's right. That's because right. It's for the cause of Christ. Mm -hmm. We we are trumpeting, mm -hmm. you know, sounding the alarm. There's that's a it. there's a show, sound that's the it. alarm, because we're it. here that's to it. let people know that Jesus is still real. That's true. You yes, know, and you're just proof for whatever you're going through. He's still real. He's still real. I'm he's you. still on the throne. Oh, my gosh. And mm. he still can heal you mm -hmm. of what you're going through. Yes, he can. You know, and I, and I think about even the trumpeting for Jesus radio broadcast. Mm -hmm. I just enjoy it so much. I yeah. I do it um, from my the privacy of my own home because I have the equipment on my computer. Mm -hmm. And I'm always like praying, God, what do you want me to say yes. to the people, to people God? To encourage and I the realize, yeah. yes, I realize I, I encounter so many people, mm -hmm. you know, so many hurting men and hurting women. And, and a lot of times when you're hurting, you don't want nobody to come down on you and mm -hmm. you just be belittling yeah. you. You know you're wrong. You know you did wrong, but yeah. you want somebody, first of all, who's going to have compassion. Yeah. Every Every time I think about when Jesus encountered a crowd, he had compassion. He was moved with yes. compassion because Praise you know why? He wanted to see them delivered. Mm -hmm. He wanted to see them set free because yes. that's the purpose of yes. Jesus coming, mm -hmm. to seek and to yes. save that which was lost. Amen. And I just Amen. enjoy it, just sounding the alarm. You know, Jesus is coming. Yes. Make preparations to meet your mm -hmm. God, even if you're hurting, yes. whether you're in a marriage or whether you're single or whether you've been abused. Mm -hmm. So you are severely loved yes. by God. And once you discover who you are, Lord. oh, my God, you're going to be able to bring deliverance in a lot of people's lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. Once you make it through. Mm -hmm. How about that? Amen. Yeah. You got to sound the alarm. You got to sound the alarm. Sometimes people don't like it when you sound the alarm, yeah, but hey, yeah. truth is truth. You know, that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Yes, and I like Lord. freedom. Oh, yeah. I don't like being in bondage. It feels it feels different, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It feels you know, good when to you're be liberated. liberated. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes and absolutely. we don't have to be in bondage. We don't have to be. You, you choose to be. Yeah. You know, there's a choice God mm. says before you, life and death. You got to choose what do you want. Choose life. Which one do you want? You better preach a pop. <laughs> what do you want to <laughs> preach a pop? You know. We have to choose. He says. We have to choose it. Choose life. It's right there before you. Choose life. You today. Know? 
Amen. Amen. This is this can go a long time. Amen. You know, this Amen. Can, and you've been here. You. Oh my day. God. <laughs> but so this good. has been just so good. So good. Mm, 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 mm. When you spend time with believers, yes. it's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Because you share the same family, you Absolutely. share the same father, the same bloodline. You know, line. the same, same bloodline. Blood <laughs> and it's just refreshing. Right. It's yes, it been is. so good today. Yes. I mean, we yeah. you don't even know what happened today. Mm. <laughs> but it has been a yes. day. It has been a day ordained yes. by God. Ordained by God. Mm. And mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful to be in this space and time. I am too. You I know, am. that I, we can I connect yes. in the spirit and yes. we can connect physically as yes. women. Absolutely. You know, and Absolutely. certainly there are men being blessed. It's just the blessings of the Lord. Mm. He, they're here for us. Yes. Yes. They're here. Here, they're here. All we need to do is accept this gift. That's Certainly, it. the that's gift of it. salvation. Oh, that's the first thing. Ah, that's, that's you know, and thing. then we are family. Yes, yes. You yes. know, and our yes. Father yes. is King, mm -hmm. and we are His mm -hmm. children. Hallelujah. Priestly. Come on. You know. Priestly. <laughs> <laughs> so all of the advantages yes. mm -hmm. that are His are ours. Absolutely. You know, so Absolutely. we don't have to walk in depression. That's mm. one of the big things we're talking. We don't have mm. to walk in that. We don't have to walk in that. You know, or pain. We don't have to walk in that, you know. So we're, we're just, I'm just so grateful again to meet people like you, Apostle, who are standing up, walking tall and strong, you know, and representing the Lord well in the earth. Praise the Lord. From tragedy to triumph, you've got to get the book. Tell us how we can get this book, Apostle. Okay, you can, you can email me at, at epriest. P R I E S T 2015 at iCloud.com. Or you can call me at 302 724 0474. And I think um, Pastor didn't mention that it also comes on Streama, S T R E E M A dot com. And um, listen in, mm -hmm. tune in. Tune in. Okay. Anything, if you got mm -hmm. a computer, whatever, you can just hear it anywhere in Amen. the country, anywhere. Amen. Anywhere. And that's just the beautiful thing about yeah. this whole process. You can, like you said, the comfort of your home. Yes, the comfort is of my home. going to the world. Jesus. How about that? Glory to God. You know. Jesus. So, and, and you're going to be seeing more of Apostle. Amen. We've been talking Amen. a little bit about that. Praise We're excited. God. We're yes. excited about yes. that. Praise God. Because, again, always to link up with people mm -hmm. who are on fire. Come on. Yes. <laughs> for with the yes, yes. yes. On Amen. fire. That's it. For God. On fire for God. Uh, so, yes. again, I know you're looking forward. This is the holidays are coming, too. The holidays are fast approaching. Yes, absolutely. Perfect gift. Purchase it for someone. Purchase it. One for yourself and mm -hmm. then one for someone else. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect gift. And again, it's an easy book to read. Um, it's a page turner. <laughs> so get everything done that you have to do and then just sit and read because you won't want to do anything mm -hmm. <laughs> after this. You know, it's really, really good. And again, just to see the person that has come out of this, you know, again, example of when you're going through what you look like after 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 because up. yes because you did mm. you do get through it by the grace of God mm -hmm. by the grace of God wow. <sighs> so again we could take this a long time but this mm. is our time apostle um, apostle a fellow priest yes. our, our new friend Amen. our new sister Amen. I'm telling you Amen. a woman who, who loves loves God and loves his people and not afraid to, to show it. She certainly um, shows the, shows who God is, who her father is, and she represents him well in the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. So get the book, From Tragedy to Triumph. You can listen for Trumpeting for Jesus, again, every every second and fourth Sunday, mm -hmm. 8.45 to 9 o'clock. Again, you're going to see her on the network. And just be excited because God is doing some wonderful Amen. things. Amen. See, really Amen. is doing Amen. some Tell wonderful you, things. God. And these blessings mm -hmm. that overtake you, that's yes, the kind of thing that's, that's it. happening. That's it. That's it's that's overtaking it. you. It. Yeah, it. yeah. Amen. So again, this has been Apostle Stella Priest. From Tragedy to Triumph is a book that you need to get. And again, make sure you get all your work done because once you pick it up, you won't want to put it down. Right. Right. <laughs> you won't want right. to put it down. Right. And we're probably going to have more shows about the about the book and the things that were Absolutely. happening. We can't Absolutely. go through all today because it's, it's very meaty. But again, it's a page turner from tragedy to triumph. And you know, if Apostle could make it, you could make it too. Absolutely. Is there, a, I know we'd like to end with a word of encouragement. All of your 
time together has been an encouragement. I know, I know. It's been I know. an encouragement for us. Oh my but if there's a last, um, <sighs> something that you'd like to leave, um, with, I would say with the women today, is there something you'd like to leave us with? I want you to know that you are more than what they say you are. Mm. You are special in the eyes of God. You have been called and chosen for such a time as this. Yeah. When you look back over your life and you realize every single thing that you have gone through, realize it was for a reason yeah. to be able to help pull another sister out of the ditch. Amen. Amen. And sometimes um, we think that, oh, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm not going to tell that. I'm going to keep that to myself. No, you need to release it. Release it and, and pray. Stay in, the, stay in the presence of God and just say, God, what is the gift that you have locked up on the inside of me? What is my passion? Mm. What do you really want me to do in this season of my life? Yeah. You know, what do I really, really thrive at so much? And once you tap into that, then start making the necessary steps and make that come to pass. Because in Habakkuk, the second chapter, he says, write the vision. Mm. That's all I've been on for the last yes. past three evenings. Yes. God's been talking to me. Write the vision and make it plain that he that readeth may run. Mm -hmm. So you want to run with that vision that God has told you. Trust me, yeah. it's not over for you. It's not. I know you may have been suffering through depression. Mm -hmm. You may feel like that all hope is lost. God is over for me. Nothing else can ever work. But I'm telling you, the Father has great need of you. Praise the Lord. same way when that cult was tied up, they said, just, just, the Father has need him. Just tell him, just loose tell him. him that, yeah. So we just loose you right now in the name of Jesus to go forth in the power mm -hmm. of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit and realize that you are precious you are chosen and you are anointed by God to do a work for him somebody's waiting on you amen somebody's amen. waiting on somebody's you. waiting very compelling oh praise God. the somebody's name waiting. of the Lord someone's oh waiting God. for you thank you Jesus amen and thank we pray Jesus. for God's strength yes and his anointing to just get you up that's right and do that right. thing that he's that's called right. and once you just get started oh that's all you got to do get just some get, momentum just get started. I'm telling you amen. praise the name amen. of the Lord he has not forgotten you that's right he has not forgotten you. That's been our time. Again, this has been Apostle Estella Priest, her book From Tragedy to Triumph. And one is yet coming. We'll be talking about that again. Absolutely. But Absolutely. a woman who has been through and has come out on the other side, mm. thriving you, and praising her God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Praising her God. Praise God. Amen. That's our time. Thank you for joining us here on Heart Ministry Radio Network and Extraordinary People Broadcast. I'm your host, Brenda Divers. And again, spent some special time today Amen. Yes, with God. our friend, God. our yes, friend, God. Apostle Jesus. Estella Priest. Hallelujah. Join us often. Mm. God bless you.
clean heart, I pray thee. Renew your spirit within me, sustain me. Cast me not away.
here on Heart Ministry Radio Network and Extraordinary People Broadcast. I'm your host, Brenda Divers, and we have with us Stephen Wilkerson. And you just saw a beautiful, beautiful uh, video and tribute to my mom and dad. To your mom and dad. How beautiful, purpose. how yeah. beautiful was that? But yeah. before we talk about the project, again, this is Stephen Wilkerson. Your brother. It's my brother. Like you. <laughs> So here I go again doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that yeah. that was just for me because I didn't know you were doing it. That just kind of came came out of nowhere for me. Right. And it was beautifully done. Thank you. You know, you know, he's a he's an artsy guy. He does um, cosmetology. That's primarily right for a living. For yes. a living to eat. Yes. <laughs> we all got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Stephen, before we get started, my first question is always. What was your conversion experience and how you came to know the Lord? Can you share that? Let's see what time it was. In two that minutes or morning. less. Two uh, minutes or less. This morning. It was. Two minutes or no, less. No, I mean, <laughs> every day is my experience because Amen. you know what? I see myself like in three parts. My soul was bought a long time ago yeah. and paid for by Jesus. Crazy. And Lord. I don't, that's on luck. Hey, spirit, yes, it is. Oh, my, I love that. My yes. spirit is longing Ever. pleading yes. with the father yes. let's 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 avenge yes. your people oh. let's let me do something I mean when I was a little boy I used to tell my dad I could do it I could do it just the oh Lord let me do my flesh will go back mm -hmm. from the dust from whence it came yes. it's nothing so the conversion I think is every day because like this overused mm -hmm. term at the end of the day I think things that I do and I've done and just cringe that I, how I, uh, you know, don't please the Father. Yeah. So every day I have to wake up, Father, you know, uh -huh. here's another day, let me do better, you know, forgive me. And he's so loving. He does, he does. And kind and gracious to do it every day. But I was born, born into holiness, uh -huh. so uh -huh. this is why I have to dedicate all this to my parents yeah. for doing, yeah. doing that. How they raised you up. Yeah, which is the fear and admonition of the Lord. Admonition of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I think that attitude that you have about um, every day having to to start right yeah, with yeah. the Lord, and He gives us His word that you know if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us, yes, and like then that. to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So it's as if we never sinned. Absolutely. So that's what the Father gives us. Yes, you know, day. so we don't have to walk in condemnation. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. but just to be able to keep short accounts, you know, and I love that. If that's how you're living, I'm keeping short accounts. You know, when you present yourself to the Father, you don't have to go through a whole lot. No. <laughs> you know, when he asks you to give an account no. for what you, you know, what you've done. All so the I, Father will see mm, is his son, you know, hopefully. Covered with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. At the, at the end of the day, I at hope that's what day. he see, Amen. he longing to be like mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. You know, and that's why, forgive me for cutting you off, that's but okay. that, this is why I dedicate most of this to my father and mm -hmm. mother because after my father passed away, I started sounding more and more like Christ. I'm like, because dad left some rules and regulations uh -huh. to do and so on. And I, was, I had my own idea of doing things. But then I said, you know what? My dad's will instead of mine. I was uh -huh. like, whoa, hold up. Who does this sound like? <laughs> you know, okay. And I'm thinking yeah. about my father and talking to him when I sleep or uh -huh. imagine myself speaking to him or... or Remember, you know, remembering him, remembering him. I think, Dad, you know, I want to do what you did. Mm -hmm. Your will, Father, not mine. Then I'm thinking, oh, my God, I'm sounding more and more like Jesus. Amen. 
Praise you know? the Lord. So, and this is what he taught me to die mm -hmm. daily, daily until one day I become, mm -hmm. I become Christian, I become Christ-like. Like Christ, yes. Yeah. Yes. So my what mom, a legacy. Well, yeah. He, my parents were perfect. Oh. <laughs> wow. My mother, what a statement. I, yes. My mother loving to the point of death. Mm. My dad was apostolic. Mm -hmm. When he spoke, it was in power with the anointing and of the Holy Ghost and did a mighty work throughout the country mm -hmm. and other countries. Wow. So the combination of the two is me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So That's something yeah. I'm sure all of us as parents um, endeavor to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the legacy that we want to leave behind. So yes, yes. praise God for, the, for your parents and then for, you know, Lord, just placing in your heart to do um, a dedication to them. And yeah. I'm telling you, you saw the video and all the animation and, you know, it I had was not, it You was know what, let me tell you, I just want to make done. it clear. Uh -huh. I had nothing to do with production. Mm -hmm. They did a fabulous job. Al Turner, mm -hmm. I got to tell you, oh my God, the music, mm -hmm. he did it all. Wow. Brought in all the musicians, mm -hmm. got the feel, the the vibe. He okay. professed Jesus the vision, which you, uh -huh. in his life. He gave, you know, he's one of the Christian brother. Everybody a part of it was Christian. Mm -hmm. So all I did, Stanley, my younger brother, mm -hmm. wrote the piece. I can't leave that. Oh out. wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you thought about why Psalm fifty one, it's a plea to bring us back. Mm -hmm. It's an intercessory prayer. Yeah, yeah. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Yeah. yeah, I had to bring out the Bible so we kind of read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, please, and don't yeah. let me talk too much. No, no, no. This is this yeah. is the interview because we want to pull out um, what this is and what God did. You know, He just doesn't just do things. He does mm -hmm. things for a reason, and for Him to get glory, for His people to be edified. Mm -hmm. You know, and certainly for those who are, are outside of the ark of safety to come in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So with all of that in mind, you know, you kept it to the, the, the scripture. Well, Stanley wrote this song. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I woke up singing this song uh, about three years ago. Uh, Lord, and and Stanley's your brother? Stanley's my youngest brother. Okay. And he okay. can write. This boy can mm -hmm. write music. It's, He's really the real musician in the okay. family. Anyway, Shout out to Stanley. Shout out to Stanley. <laughs> so I went to Al. I've been wanting to work with Al Turner for years. Mm -hmm. He's an awesome mm -hmm. musician. Okay. Nationally, internationally known. Wow. Works for Kim, Al, um, uh, Earl Clue, Bob James, a whole, anyway. Mm -hmm. He took it after me feeding him lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so he took it and the feel, he mm -hmm. brought it into an Afrocentric, a mm. boss, uh, Native American war vibe. You can you can feel all of the different so, genres and yes, yeah, you can yes. feel all of that. Yeah. So oh, mm -hmm. I came in, sung my little part, and the more you listen to it, you, it's almost like a cry for for war. It's mm. like, Lord, once we turn our face to you, now we're going after this terrorizer mm. that's been terrorizing your people so long. Oh I'm gonna say this: terrorite enemy. Be aware mm. that God's children are strong. Yes, we are. In power. With the authority. Mighty in battle because of who, who we serve. And you've been terrorizing bad. his yeah. people mm -hmm. long mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. Time is enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know that time is winding down. And oh. We know that's why the attack is so strong. Oh, hey, um, that, let me tell you about that little yeah. attacker. Yeah. Because he knows his end. That's why, you know, we got to, like, no we power. have to step up. Yeah. We give him all the power. Yes. But Lord God's people Jesus. and his mighty army is coming. Yeah. And we're here. Trust me. We're here. We're here. And Trust that's me. that's really good. And that's how yeah. we have to train even our children. You know, we, we see the adversary. We see, you know, we're not ignorant, the Bible says, to his devices. Mm. Right? And we have to stay in the word of God because that's the only thing we have as believers to fight. You know, you can fight with your, your opinion and, you know, your your degrees and all of these things. But nothing, nothing defeats the enemy like his word absolutely you know so that's absolutely. what we have to really just get into and you took it from your brother took it from psalm 51 mm -hmm. you know that's the sword that's the only thing the we basis yield of what in, we're in battle with. absolutely mm -hmm. and that's that's i think what drew me was um the title first of all psalm mm -hmm. 51 mm -hmm. you know and then reading the psalm you know and again when god words when his words go forth they accomplish what he sets it out to do. Absolutely. Right? So Absolutely. this is touching a nation. And and then to inquire.
incorporate the your mom and dad. And um, now, who did the the animation? Oh, um, first, let me slow it down mm -hmm. because I get so excited. Okay, and you know me. Stanley wrote mm -hmm. the piece. Okay. Al pulled it together mm -hmm. with Monty Pollard and um, JJ Evans did the background and um, Dana Davis who plays with the Winans and so on. Mm -hmm. um, great people. Did that? I came in and sang Jamal Wilkerson. Mm -hmm. uh, funny, he's got our same name. So, yes, um, he's did the green he screen. He blesses us all the time. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he he's a part the, of our team. Yes, yeah, he absolutely. did the uh, visual, mm -hmm. the video uh, mm -hmm. shots. Uh, Lav, uh, don't let me mess up his last name. He's a Serbian brother. Mm -hmm. like, Lav, he's, he's Lav brother. is good. Yeah. <laughs> Lav, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, Lav took it mm -hmm. and. Oh my God! Absorbed what the spirit of it. Mm. it. It just took life. Wow! I had nothing to do with the idea. Mm -hmm. Nada, nothing. He took the idea. He said, "Oh my God! I love this song." Uh, he, he's playing it for his mother. Mm -hmm. She. He said she's listened to it like right. thirty times a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He took it, told me what he saw, and created. What was supposed to be a five-day project into thirty some odd days of work. Wow, wow! He's a professor of animation. He took all those skills and he told me what he saw, and I was like, "Hey, do it." Have so, at it. <laughs> yeah. So Praise nobody can say, "Oh my God, look at him mm -hmm. flying around on clouds." <laughs> you know, he's got this <laughs> messiah That's complex. Yeah, like, like he thinks he's Jesus, right? But mm -hmm. uh, I don't uh, think it, it's portrayed like that at all. Well, I hope so. No, I don't think. I hope so. I don't care. You know, mm -hmm. not at all. Brenda, listen, listen. I've been beat up so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. You think what yeah. you want. I'm mm -hmm. doing what my yeah. father's will. You know. I, I, again, I don't. I don't perceive okay. that. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. At but all. It, all it is is I'm imagining going up where my parents are mm -hmm. and um, being in a place, having a place yeah. with them and. Anyway, Lav, shout outs to you, brother. Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Yes, I think, it, yeah. again, I think it was beautifully done. It was creatively yeah. done. Yeah. Um, you know, again, with all the animation, I mean, with the, what do you have, like, um, lightning coming out you of your hands? Like, where like, does that come from? I just, you know, I, I just love to see, you know, create, creative oh my people. God. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. It's, it's really good. So, you yeah. know, we, we've aired, we aired it before we came on, and, you know, it's out there on all of the digital outlets. Yeah. Um, you, you need to just get it. I think it's a, it's a, it's a fun song, even. That, listen, you know? It's I've a, listened to it yeah. thousands of times, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. still I listen to it outside and still get Something different. Because Al is just, can I use the word? He's just crazy. <laughs> He's creative, and I. Again, I don't know how. I don't know how he does it. It's mm -hmm. just amazing. Well, it's the the anointing when God gives you a special gift, a special gift. Mm -hmm. He breathes on that, and you know all you can say is wow, you know wow God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know if if we are if we are conscious of what He did. And you know what? I don't want to go too far. But you're going to see it in the physical realm. God's move. I think we're seeing it now. Absolutely. You know, we're seeing Absolutely. it. And again, he anoints us to see a, the manifest presence of God in our lives that allows that power that you're talking about Absolutely. to come forth. So Absolutely. again, if we have, our, if we have um, accepted Christ as Savior, then the Holy Spirit now dwells within us. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that empowers us to do to do the to work, be sons of so God, that's yes. why that's they're here because we're here, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we and we they. have to allow. Yeah, yeah. We are they, yes. and we have to allow the Holy Spirit that's within us to do the work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what to pull everything back to the Father. That's why we're here. Remember, um, mm -hmm. uh, Yahshua was walking around Jericho, mm -hmm. and he saw this oversized being. He's like, "Wow, who are you here with? Whose side are you on?" He's like, I ain't nobody's side. I'm on, God. I'm on God's side. And I was sent to tear this wall down. Mercy. Now, if you're on God's side, you're with me. If not, get out of the way. Get on the Lord's side. Absolutely. Lord this mercy. is what we're going to go into. And we're going to see him mm -hmm. like it was prophesied. Yes, yes. And you know, oof, yes. just being in line to yes. what God is saying yes. and having the spiritual eye opened. Again, mm -hmm. that's when you see what God is doing in the earth. 
Yeah, man. You know, but yeah. we have to walk close to him. We have to stay in his word. And that's when we see, that's for me, you know, he said if we keep his commandments, you know, if we love him, that he, his father, they will manifest themselves to us. And he does that. Well, you know what? He does that. He does it. But, you know, you, believe it or not, you're going to see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will see him, believe it or not. Yeah. And every knee will bow. Yeah. I'm here to tell yeah. you. Yeah. So and let's do it on this side. How about that? Well, like, <laughs> let's do that. And I think yeah. that's a call. That's a call. And I thank you, Stephen, for bringing that up. That's a call to anyone who has not received Christ as Savior, that today is the day for salvation. All you need to is ask him to come into your life, ask him to forgive you for your sins and to be your Lord and Savior. That's all we Just have to do. Recognize who he is and yes. you can be on his side, yep. you know, and you can feel and know who God is. I just think it's a wonderful thing. This salvation a, gift is so free. Let it be a daily yes, transformation. A daily Don't worry transformation. about being something you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I'm I love so that. comfortable with me because mm. even when I'm, <laughs> it seems, you know, when it seems like I'm closest to him is when I'm messing up. Yes, yes. Yes. It's the craziest thing. Because he says, I, I got you, Stephen. Yeah. I got In my you. weakness, yeah. he's made strong. He's made strong. So yes. don't worry about you, you know. Yeah. Put, and, and you know what? Don't even put the responsibility mm, of changing on you. Praise the Lord. Put it all yes, on, on the Lord. him. I love it. And I he's such it. a loving Savior. Even before he died, remember mm -hmm. he forgave the guy on the cross? Even to stay, he said, you'll be with me. And why people put mm -hmm. so many... Uh, things on people in salvation. Mm, Just forget yeah. about it. Love the Lord with all your heart and love your fellow Neighbor man. Neighbor yourself. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I think we were just going to come talk about the, the video, <laughs> well, you know, it, but yeah. I think um, the heart of it is what we needed to talk about, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and who God is and what he does when his people are receptive to him, mm -hmm. when you just open yourself to him, these kind of things are, are produced. It's so beautiful to the fact that you're like, oh, you know, how did they do that? Or, it's you know, crazy. how did they do that? You know, it's you know, it's our the Lord. lab sent me a video of his mom. Mm -hmm. I hope it's okay for me to say this lab. Already, this music is in other countries and blessing the heart of this little baby. You're looking at this mm. lady, he didn't even know he was filming her. And she was singing the words, feeling the words. Mm -hmm. And then she turned to him and says, you know, this makes me want to cry. Wow. This is the spirit of the Lord of working. The living God, yeah. I'm just a vessel. Mm -hmm. And this is so yes. good. This, and yeah. it's already being translated into other languages. Well, Correct. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, I don't know if she understood the language. Okay. But she was definitely feeling... Because I saw spirit. some of the translations on some of the um, oh. social media feeds. Oh, well, that was me trying mm -hmm. my best to talk. Okay, to other countries. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I have friends in, in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and uh, Italy okay. and okay. Uh, Serbia. Mm -hmm. And it's a you know, mystery. I interpret it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that interpreters everywhere. Yes. You can Google stuff. Yes, and it'll translate for Absolutely. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that is so good. You know, yeah. again, yeah. Um, because you love your parents so, yeah. and you wanted to um, have a tribute to them, mm -hmm. um, but it's done through Psalm fifty-one with your plea. You know, to the father, your plea yeah. to the father, and I just think it's it's beautifully done. The animation is is outstanding. The plea to the father yeah. for me and for God's people. Mm -hmm. If anybody hear me, just let's love each other like little children. Mm -hmm. And come to come together. Come, come together just as children. Kids don't know anything. You mm -hmm. can't fathom unfathomable things. How could you know so much mm -hmm. about a God that can't be known like that? Only through Christ mm -hmm. are we able to get to him. Yeah. yeah. And Christ is about love. Yeah. And he said what? You can't get to the Father unless you come through me. And that means through love. Yeah, through him. You've got to, you know. And be willing to yeah. give your life to Christ, yeah. to him mm -hmm. and for your fellow man. Yeah, yeah. Stop the fighting. Yeah. It's on. a call to peace. It's yes, a call man. to peace. Let's love each other. Yeah. Forget about it. God ain't got a hat on, on a political side. <laughs> come on. That's, and I think it's good to be reminded of this, yeah. you know, um, all the time, really. Who we're serving, what, what we're actually even doing here. Why are we even doing this? you know, um, if it's not for his glory and to edify his people. So again, we just thought we'd take some time today and s speak with Stephen Wilkerson again. And I yeah. think that if it's bottled up, 
you know, and the way you express it is through your music. Okay. You express it through okay. um, the people that you touch while you are working on them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what you're doing. That is the anointing that you have, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So yep. don't let it frustrate you <laughs> because if you do the work, then you'll get it out. One day, though. You know. One day. We're going to go at it. We're going to do My dad, oh, my God, used to see him speak. Mm. You should see. Oh, my yeah, I'd, I'd love to see if you have any old, um, you know, tapes and that kind of thing. I'll tell you what, um, the folk in North Carolina mm -hmm. used to be afraid of me. He had these eyes that seemed to be... Piercing. Look, yeah, so <laughs> folk, would, folk, would, sit, folk mm -hmm. would sit in the back of <laughs> the church. <laughs> and, well, see, that was the anointing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the yeah. apostolic anointing, mm -hmm. right? Yes, um, yes, but yes. I just, I love it that, again, you love your parents and you wanted to do something, put something out on the earth. Mm -hmm. to let people know this is who they were. Absolutely. This is the it's legacy great, that they set in me. Great, great um, and I'm sure the people that they touched, you know, their children are still around. They yeah. can appreciate And this is you know, what we do. Were. This mm -hmm. is what happened back in the day. You spread, talk to your children mm -hmm. about what happened. Then they carried on to the next generation. It was generation. legacy. Yeah. 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 After they set at the feet, you know. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. again, just go back and look at it. Um, again, Psalm 51. And what is, is there a tagline to that? Well, there's a tagline on my artist page. Mm -hmm. It's Guardians of Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Its acronym is G-O-D. Right. And I'm trying to create a page where Guardians you can come in and, and chat about, and chat about mm -hmm. things in your life and what God is doing for you. That okay. way folk can see. And share it. Share and know that God is still real. He's still yes, a miracle worker. Yes, he He's is. still the same mm -hmm. today yes. as yesterday, he was yesterday, and he will be the same forever. I love that. So, again, yes. he's creating a platform yeah. so you can come and have some dialogue. Yes. Um, Don't let me say everything. Yeah, because, and just, yeah, well, just get some dialogue. And, you know, it's good to for people to come with their experience, what yes. God has done. Yes. You know, the deliverance that they've had, that, that's going to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, it's again, it's not just um, a, a platform. It's to give glory to God, to uplift his people. Great. Well spoken. Right? Well said. So, again, this has been Stephen Wilkerson, oh. um, artist. I didn't know he had those chops. I know he could sing like that. Listen. You know, of, go listen, ahead. Out of everybody... <laughs> Out of everybody on this project, mm -hmm. I'm the least. Well, the and least. how about that? That's what God uses. He uses the least of us, yeah. you know, that we um, give him glory. And he just allowed you to to be the catalyst, you know, to put this together, to be the one who was even out front. You have a thousand people, you know, working to put this project together. But God chose you to be the well, one, I, I, you know, humbly, he, he humbly, he gave it to you. I and humbly accept, yes, Father, yes, my soul says yes. My soul says uh, yes. That's God. all he wants Somebody to say Somebody told yes. me once, say, Stephen, uh, you know, people don't like to hear about religion too much. I said, oh, okay, just don't give me the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what, what you're going to hear. Absolutely. Praise the Lord. You know, we want to yeah. represent our Father well. Yes. And again, this is a beautiful project. Again, very you. creative. You know, he's talking about um, he's speaking from Psalm 51, a plea, you know, to the Father. And then, you know, knowing that his mom and dad are in heaven, you know, you know, when you get there first, we're going to see Jesus. That's who we want to see. And then, you know, all the people that we know will see them as they were known. Yes. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. You know. So, again, I just love the creativity that he has given his people. And, again, you know, um, we know Stephen He's got the gift in his hands, <laughs> you know, and um, that certainly when you when you're touching people and you're working on them, you know, that gift is supposed to come forth. You have no idea. You know, I can't even imagine what the sessions are like, you know. I have no idea. So yeah. praise so the Lord. So communi the mm. communion between me and my clients. Mm. Praise the Lord. Fantastic. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So if you want to get to, to, how do they contact you, Steve? Um, well, on social media, mm -hmm. um, Stephen Wilkerson. And you'll see the Stephen Signature logo. Okay. And then the artist page is Stephen Wilkerson at Guardian, mm -hmm. Guardians of Deliverance. Okay. And that's a Facebook page. That's a Facebook uh, okay. artist page. Artist page. Okay. Yeah, Guardians of Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Deliverance Centers of Georgia was founded by my father. And I feel like I need to... Carry that on. Carry that 
Yeah. And he had this saying, deliverance is going to cover Dixie like the do, was one of the things he used to say. Mm. And I found out Dixon, Mason Dixon line is right here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my God, he's going to use me. Dixie <laughs> like the do. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yes. So again, I, I'm grateful for um, the legacy. You know, it's just wonderful, again, when we have wonderful parents and they've imparted into us what they were supposed to. Mm -hmm. And now they've gone on to their reward, you know. So he's carrying on the legacy. And again, it's just so beautiful to see his parents and the animation and the, the, the voices. I'm sure just crazy? hearing their voices again. I'm sure that was... Uh, that mom was awesome, right? Yeah. She was a great speaker. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. yes. So you've got, again, you saw it once, but just go over it, purchase it. Where where do they purchase? Um, any digital music mm -hmm. outlet, um, iTunes, Apple Music, mm -hmm. um, uh, Google, Google Play, uh, Facebook Play, um, all of them, mm -hmm. all of them, Spotify. Okay, can, they can find you just any, by putting in, putting what in they Stephen put in? Wilkerson. I'm the only Stephen Wilkerson with uh, Psalms 51 attached. Okay, Psalms 51. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then read Psalm 51. That's, for me, it just made me, okay, let's go read Psalm 51, <laughs> you know. Well, how about David? Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. Talk about a mess up. This guy. And he was still considered a man after God's own heart. <laughs> oh I'm like, that How can that me. happen? Just, you know. I told my younger brother, I said, what do you know about transgressions? Give me this song. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you some things. I can tell you some things. <laughs> wow. And that just, you know, he's a merciful God. He's yes, a merciful he Father. And, you know, we're here to give him glory. That's why we're here. Yes. That's why we're here. And Absolutely. to edify his people. And again, we're supposed to show the world what, what God looks like. Mm -hmm. That's our job to do, you know. So yeah. we have to represent our Father well. Yeah. And stay in his word. Read Psalm 51. You know, perfect day to read Psalm 51. Yeah. You know, the Psalms are just your go-to you know, for encouragement, for, for how to praise and worship our God, you know, spend some time in the psalm. And be encouraged, little yeah. ones. Your, your, your help is on the, the way. It's on the way. Praise worry the about name it. of the Lord. This little weak enemy, mm. he ain't got no power. Wow. We're going we're gonna to get rid of it. Yeah. Watch. He's already said, we, you know, we, he's already said that, so we have to walk in victory. And I love the, the reminder. Oh, yeah. Walk in victory. Because, okay. again, our enemy is defeated. He's turning it up because he's defeated. So our job is to stay in the word of God and to be able to wield the, the sword. That's the only offensive weapon that we have. <laughs> Again, this has been the Extraordinary People broadcast featuring Stephen Wilkerson, Psalm 51. Again, a tribute to his parents and a plea, a plea to God to renew a uh, right spirit. That's our plea, God, people. always to renew a right spirit. In goodness. all of us. In all of us. Yeah, go back to Psalm 51. Spend some time in there. And again, it's been our pleasure. Thank you. To present you. Thank you so much. And um, just to know you. And, you know, I, again, I'm always enriched. Really? <laughs> I'm always uh, enriched. You're going to make me cry. By the experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, thank you for tuning in to Heart Ministry Radio Network and Extraordinary People Broadcast. You can go to HMN TV and see this over and over. It's going to be streaming also on our streaming church and all oh, of that. Right. Yeah, so you'll see this several times. Right. But it's been our distinct pleasure. To present this ours. project. Thank you so you. much. Thank Amen. You. Thank Again, you. join us often at heartministryradio.com. You'll be glad you did. God, God bless. bless you. All I wanna do is give it back to you. All I wanna do is give it back to you. All I wanna do is give it back to you. All I wanna do is give it back to you. You gave me a second chance, so first you are to me. 
blessed me with so much grace That now I can be free To live in your righteousness He gave his life so I'll give mine back And I know he's the only one That's why through him, Lord, I talk to you You know all the wrong things I do So your grace is sufficient as long as I'm living I'm gonna tell the world about you Cause it was you that brought me through so All I wanna do is give it back to you All I wanna do All I want is give it back to you They puff might be the last one Want me to ball my fists up and beat them out of their guns Okay, vengeance is only yours, but God, give me one To introduce to you so you can do what you do And they can give love back to you All I wanna do All I wanna do Is give it back to you All I wanna do is give it back to you Thank you for joining us here on Heart Ministry Radio Network and the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I am your host, Brenda Divers, and today I have with me the extraordinary Deborah Mayfield. And Deborah, uh, what is your position at Celebrate Recovery? I am a ministry leader at Trinity Celebrate Recovery, and just this past December, I've accepted uh, Celebrate Recovery's uh, Northern Delaware State Representative status. Wonderful. So I'm a state representative for state Delaware. State representative. And the whole program, Celebrate Recovery, we were introduced by Al. Al Demers. Yeah. Yes, a, a few years ago. And it's just a wonderful program. And so I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But we want to start with um, my favorite question. Okay. And that is, what was your conversion experience and how you received the Lord? Can you share that with okay. us? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I was a late bloomer. Okay. I was a very late bloomer. <laughs> I did not know. I didn't even have a relationship with God or mm, Jesus mm. until I was 57 years old. So oh. anger, violence, and pain were always present in my life and controlled my wow. life. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in my mid-50s, you know, I went on a search. I went on a search to find a way, I guess, to heal myself. Yeah. And what I found was a secular program, a 12-step program. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I went to the secular 12-step program. And the first few steps were easy. And it's all about giving up okay. and giving it to a higher power. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm easy I with can that. Do that. Yeah, okay. I can do that. 
I can do that. Mm. And then you go into the fourth step. And that fourth step is diving into yourself, diving into what made you make decisions okay. in your life, mm. what has guided your life, you know, character defects, you know, right. bad choices. Yeah. Yeah. And when I got to that part, you know, I didn't have anything. You know, God mm. says to, you know, share with him, mm -hmm. with another human being, and yeah. with yourself, yeah. you know, the nature of your wrongs. And, you know, I couldn't do that because I didn't have that other human being, and I did not have a relationship mm. with God. So oh it left my. me broken and battered. Like, what now? What yes, do I do here? what do I do here? Yeah. Wow. So what I discovered is a few years back, I had met a gentleman, mm -hmm. and he was a really, really nice man on a part-time job, mm -hmm. and I knew he went to church. But I just loved everything about him. Mm -hmm. He was just oh, so wonderful. The Lord. When he talked mm -hmm. about his wife and he talked about his daughters, mm -hmm. I mean, you could just see the love. The love, yeah. The love. And every interaction mm -hmm. they ever had that I saw was just absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I sought him out, you know? And I said, Where do you go to church? And he said, Trinity Community Church. And he said, And I will meet you there Sunday. Mm -hmm. So he did. Not he, if you're going to come, I will he, meet you there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so him Love and his wife, you. Yeah, they met me on the steps. You know, they took me in. Wow. You know, they guided me through my first day, made all the introductions. Oh. But as soon as I got in that church, felt the love. Uh, yes, there was something different mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You know, for the first time in a long time, I felt love. Yeah. You know, and Lord. I felt peace. And I knew there was a presence here. Oh. And that was our the God. Holy oh. And then a couple of weeks later, I found in the bulletin there was a 12-step program. Oh. I was Christian, and I thought that's where I that's need to. Where, okay. That is where I need to be. Praise the Lord. And a gentleman named James, okay, gave me all the good news that mm. day. Just all the good the news. news of Jesus. Yeah, ah. you know, I'd heard his name, but I didn't know what he did. Mm. You know, I didn't know what he did for everybody, and I certainly didn't know oh, that it was for me. And that day oh, I found I'll out differ. that it was for me. <laughs> he did so much for me that day. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so that opened up this relationship mm. with God. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and God immediately took all my guilt and all my shame. And what he exchanged it for was his forgiveness, oh, Lord, mercy. his love, his peace, his mercy, and his grace. And I was a forever changed person. Mm. And I just love that oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Ah, oh, that's it. The love. The Bible says they'll know us by our love. And just the interaction that you had with the with the gentleman. Oh, wasn't that awesome? it was love. It was. It was love. He shined. Oh, please. Yeah. And that's what we have to be in the earth. We have to be God's presence in the earth, right? Yes. Oh, I'm trying to get through this one. So, Deborah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. And this is what we need to do in the earth. This is the representation that we have to be in the yes, earth. Absolutely. And he he didn't seem to have pulled you aside and said, well, let me give you the four steps or let me give you, you know, the gospel of nope. Jesus Christ. He, he, the love is a thing that drew you. Yes. That you remembered. Yes. yes. You remember. I remember that from a few years previous. That's how strong the love was. So strong. And that's a message. And that presence was. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we're supposed to represent our Father in the yes. earth. And the same gentleman has had the same effect on various people. Praise the Lord. Heard the story over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That's what we're supposed to be doing. That is. They know us by know. our love. Yes. By our love. Praise the Lord. What a sweet story. And again, this is for everybody, right? Yes. Some, some of us receive, I received Christ at 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Oh, wow. Some at, you know, and some at, you said 57. I was 57, 57. years old. Yeah, I was you know? a late bloomer. Yeah, but it's never Every too late. Day. And it's not like you have to catch up with anything. Nope. <laughs> you know, Absolutely Right not. where you are. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's never too late to accept Christ as Savior. Uh, okay. So we're going to talk about Deborah, the woman. Tell us a little bit about you. Okay. I usually, that, that's the hardest thing. <laughs> yeah, that is women. the hardest thing. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. 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 So I had a difficult marriage, mm. okay, but I brought about three beautiful children. Oh, praise the Yeah, Lord. so praise that's glorious, yeah. 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 And of course, they've grown up and they've had children of their own mm. and grandchildren are even, wow. even better right. than your own. Like, they are just so much fun. They're just yeah. glorious and wonderful. Oh. So, and I am, I guess, a, a chemical technician. So I have a chemistry degree mm -hmm. and I worked 
quite a few years at AstraZeneca. Okay. Okay, okay. and then uh -huh. I made the change, and now I'm working at W.L. Gorn Associates, and I really love well, my job. Good. And good. it makes it so easy yes. if you actually love what you do. Praise the name and of the Lord. And God blessed me in that way. <laughs> Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. So, Celebrate Recovery. Um, is it the, because how you came to the Lord, is that what drew you to this program? Or what, what drew you to Celebrate Recovery? Okay, when I started the 12-step program, mm -hmm. okay, at Trinity Community Church, it was a very, very small program. Mm -hmm. There was only like three or four people. And God had told me that year when I was reflecting mm -hmm. back on my past that I really want you to go out and explore new waters. Wow. You know? And I thought, oh, oh why? You that? know, <laughs> is it to give my testimony? Is it to share? Oh. You know, and then I realized that what I found was, of course, Celebrate Recoveries. Mm -hmm. And Celebrate Recoveries were all around us. They were in New Jersey, they were in Pennsylvania, they mm -hmm. were in Maryland. Okay. But there was only really one in Delaware at that time. Okay, and it had just moved to the Wilmington Church of God, so okay. that's where I was. Mm -hmm. And then my pastor called me in one day and said, Dad, we're, you know, we're starting about thinking about starting a new program called Celebrate Recovery. How would you like to be the ministry leader wow. of Celebrate Recovery? And it's like, how did they even know? No, to ask you, <laughs> yeah, right? that that's where I was wow. going, Crazy. and how we were lacking in Delaware. But this mm. program was just absolutely amazing. So I thought, well, I'll think about it. And then somebody else asked me, and it's mm. like, I'll think about it. You know, but when God asks you to do something, you do it. the answer is yes. Yes. So that's how it came Praise to be. And then we brought Celebrate Recovery to Trinity Community Church, and mm -hmm. we hold it at the well on Thursday okay. nights. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. And we, um, Pastor Robert, has been here oh, a couple of okay. times. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. We love I didn't Pastor realize Robert. that. Robert. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. So um, we, we, I guess we did visit, my husband and I did visit Trinity um, last year, I guess, sometime. Okay. Mm -hmm. He looks familiar. Yeah. So. You know, it's a wonderful work that they're doing as a church and then bringing this in, yeah, you know. Definitely. So tell us about Celebrate Recovery. What is it? What is it? What is Celebrate mm -hmm. Recovery? Okay, Celebrate Recovery is a recovery program mm -hmm. and it's based on the words of Jesus. Okay, it's all about his Sermon on the Mount. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and living yeah. through the Sermon on the Mount. You know, you have the steps, but you'll also have the Sermon on the Mount yeah. that brings you through. So it's the community that it brings. Mm -hmm. It's the safety and confidentiality that comes with it. It's the forever friends, because if you have mm. recovery with people, yeah. they're forever in your heart, forever in your heart. Forever but friends. Jesus lives that. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and Jesus is the basis of Celebrate Recovery. Jesus does all the work. He does all the fixing. You know, he hears our shares, he hears our testimonies. Mm -hmm. There's lessons in Celebrate Recovery, but he does the work in each individual's heart of what they need. Mm -hmm. So it's not only for people that have addiction yes. problems. Yes, yes. And that's the biggest mm -hmm. difference with Celebrate Recovery. Mm -hmm. Only one in three come for, our, for an addiction. One in three. One in three. Others come for depression, for anxiety, oh. for fears, Praise for Lord. guilt. Wow divorce, you know, difficult children, uh, eating addictions, gambling, just about anything that wow. keeps you from the full glory of God. Keeps you bound. Yes. But we open our doors and we open our doors to everyone. Everyone is capable of coming in to wow. celebrate recovery. Because if you're hurting, you know, you can't really accept Jesus fully yeah. in your yeah. heart. Yeah. And when you start feeling some kind of recovery, then you realize, hey, Jesus is here, yeah. and Jesus is doing all this work, and miracles He's actually doing the work. happen oh. here at Celebrate Recovery. Oh, oh I can just imagine the, the breakthrough and the freedom that comes out of it. Yes. And I remember when we were talking to Al, you know, we were saying, I said, this sounds like something ministry leaders need. You know, all ministry leaders need, right. all pastoral staff needs, you know, right. because we, we're serving, but sometimes we're broken in the background. 
Mm -hmm. And this, I said, this is a perfect, um, a perfect program for leaders, right? right. <laughs> you know, right. and um, and I think some churches, like so, our Trinity is doing it, and other churches, are they coming on board now, or how are you finding that? Well, when we first started just three years ago, mm -hmm. there was only one okay. in the state of Delaware, in mm -hmm. Northern Delaware, right? Okay, and shortly after we opened the second one at Trinity Community Church. Then a third one opened at First Baptist wow. Church, or First Baptist of Delaware in Newcastle. Okay, and that was just a few months later. Mm. Okay, this year we had Freedom Biker Church first date. Okay, okay in Newcastle they opened one in January. Nice. How excited we wow. are about that! Wonderful. Yes, and we have one in the Newport area that's scheduled to open in September. So we're very, very excited. And of wow. course, we've always had the one in Dover, mm -hmm. too. Okay. Dover is a, is a nice place because people are coming in from the different services and things. Wow. So they have opportunity for recovery mm -hmm. while they're there. So if a church wants to have it or have the program at their, at their facility, how, do they, how, do, how does it start? Okay, usually it starts with some conversations okay. and some prayer within mm -hmm. the church. Okay. Okay, and they can, I, I guess I'll get some literature mm -hmm. off of CelebrateRecovery.com, okay. mm -hmm. you know, to see what the program is all about. Yeah. And then they would reach out to their state representative. So if somebody in my area oh, okay. wanted to start one, they'd oh. reach out to me. And then I'd go ahead and help them, you know, get established wow. and get started. And I'm sure, you know, if you call Deborah, she's going to call you right back. <laughs> And get you started. Yes, you know? absolutely. Because God knows who He can trust with various positions, right? Right. And for this type of ministry, you have to be hands on. Right. You know, you have to respond to people because they they need you know they need that, and someone to to be there with the love of Jesus, right? Yes. And that exudes from right. You. Absolutely right. exudes oh, from thank you. you. So you know, this is I think this is a beautiful program. Um, you talk about the twelve steps. But there's something in all of us that needs healing. There is. You know? There is always Yes, something. and yes. we can't give our all to the Lord or even to serve people with all that brokenness. Right. You know, so what a perfect way yeah. to, to heal while you're serving. <laughs> Some of our best leaders mm -hmm. have actually gone through the program. Yes, yes. And have found recovery and miracles in their own mm -hmm. life. And they go on to serve others serve Jesus in yeah. that way. Recovery and miracles. Recovery and miracles. Your own little miracle. Don't stop before you get your own How little miracle. Because he just wants amazing. to do that for us. He does. He does want to do that. You know, for us. he's no respecter of persons and you know he won't step over me to get to you. Mm -hmm. Right? He, right. He doesn't do that. No. <laughs> so oh, don't you want your own miracles? Yeah. You know, don't you want to to have Jesus in that way in yeah. your life? You know, yeah. we, we've accepted Christ and we know we have salvation. That's our, you know, yes. heaven is our home. But, you know, how to experience heaven down here. Yes, a better life here. Better life here. Water, wait, yeah, get, get to know your after. Savior now before we get there. Yeah. Right? So celebrate recovery. Um, I would love to see that and even what we're doing, you know. Um, so we have to talk about that. <laughs> but you know, if there is so, if there are leaders out there who want it in their church, they have to have the conversation, correct? Right. To see if it's something that now does it have to be a buy-in of the whole church? How does that have to? Have to well, I think it has to have a buy-in mm -hmm. of the pastoral okay. staff, mm -hmm. correctly. Mm -hmm. You have to have the pastors that want to have it and want to, I guess, support it. Support it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have their support yeah, yeah. going forward. Okay. So it is a big program, you know, and it brings many into Celebrate Recovery. Wow. So you do have to have your pastoral staff okay. behind you. And I think I like the um, the whole confidential piece because, again, we don't tend to share if we are not um, protected in that way. Right, right. So that's a, that's a big part of it. And, um, you know, it's time to get free. It really is time to, to let go of those things that have plagued us for years. I mean, years and years and years are things that plague us. Right. And, you know, sometimes it's just that kind of program that we can get the freedom that we need. Right. Right? Yeah. <sighs> so, what can you, and this is off script. <laughs> this is off script. Yeah. Okay. So this, um, 
you talk about miracles. Have you? What kind of miracles have you seen in this program? I've seen somebody that was full of stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay, that could barely get out of bed. Mm -hmm barely live life, bar barely associate with others, mm -hmm. you know, have yeah. a full, complete life, you know, full and laughing and oh. socializing. What a glorious sight that is. But we've also oh. seen somebody that was opiate addicted, mm -hmm. you know, on heroin, you know, come through the doors and it's free. Leaving yeah. out free. Yeah, leaving out free living a, uh, a life of, you know. A, a freedom. Yeah, freedom. <laughs> yeah, he's working, he has Lord. family, he has children. Oh. He's active in society, you know, he's active in Celebrate Recovery. We are blessed. Those are we miracles. Are Those are they miracles. are definitely miracles. Yeah. And yeah. they're miracles from the other extremes, right? There's miracles from the uh, drug addiction, the alcohol uh -huh, addiction uh -huh. side, but there's also yeah. miracles from the depression, anxieties, and fears of everyday life. Yes, yes. And I think that that's even a bigger down. part of that. Isn't it is. It, it is. Know, because that's the part that we don't talk about. You know, if I can function in society, right. then I'm okay. Right. <laughs> but what is it? Like, I'm sure 70% of us are, are depressed <laughs> in, in some way, in some shape way. or form. Yep. You know, but sometimes with these programs, it, it helps you acknowledge where you are. And then the freedom can start. The yeah. healing can begin. Yeah, we've yeah. had new leaders come in thinking, well, I'll do a 12-step program mm -hmm. because I have to to be okay. a leader. And thinking, well, they can get through it in just three or four weeks because they've dealt with all mm -hmm. their stuff on the inside. And to come find out when you're doing the 12 steps, you always find something okay. else, you know, underneath that Jesus wants to deal with you. And Jesus wants you free. He does want you free. He wants you free from all yeah. those things. And again, it's time to get free. It's time to get delivered. You know, because we have a work to do. We do. You know, we know Christ is coming soon. And I mean, there the harvest is still so ripe and the labor is still so few. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. So we yes. pray for the God, you know, to yeah. the God of the harvest, you know. And when you are prepared, you can make a difference yeah. in this world. Right. So I, I love this program because of the preparedness. <laughs> you know, you take them through the steps and they're ready. And they're ready. They're ready. They're ready. Yeah, this is an awesome program, and when people are called to this program, they sometimes wonder why I'm called to this program. Mm -hmm. But you walk through those doors, and there's many reasons that you're called to a yeah. Celebrate Recovery program. Maybe you have something that you need to deal with on the inside. And, you know, God's saying, now's the time. Now's the time. And once you get in that little small group or you hear the right lesson, it's like, okay, this is for me. I can do this. Yes. I and sometimes this. it's those little shares mm -hmm. that you yeah. have five minutes to share what's on your heart. And wow. when you share that, what's on your heart, you know, Jesus works that in somebody yeah. else's life. Praise the Lord. You're, You're not, not alone. alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. So you may be there to support someone else. Or you may be being called to be a leader yeah. or to bring this into your own church. So in Celebrate Recovery and Jesus call you in, you know, you have to wonder why, but have your hearts open yeah, and receptive. To receive. I yeah. love that. Jesus love will that. let you know. Yes, he will. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Absolutely. Know. And I, I love it. I love it because, again, that's something that we all need, deliverance in some way. There's always something you know, that right. we need, we need to be delivered from. So God can have that part of the heart. You know, he says with your whole heart. So he needs all of it, yeah. <laughs> all yeah. of it. And he's brought the most, I guess, outstanding mm -hmm. leaders and Amen. ministry leaders Amen. to celebrate recovery because they've been through the process. You know, they've been broken. Mm -hmm. They've yeah. had their own little miracles and they're ready to pass that on. I mean, God's just absolutely amazing in his choice of leaders yes, for is. this ministry. Wow, wow. And now he's kind of branching us out in Delaware. He's branching us out. We're looking into the court system. We're looking into the court system and the probation system to get Celebrate perfect. Recovery That's as an option yeah. for those people that are coming into a probation area and you know before they only had two choices mm. now they'll have another that. choice and it'll I be a Christian that. choice mm. and we're also looking into bringing celebrate recovery inside into the prisons because wow. it would be such a wonderful program for them on the inside 
mm. and transform them yeah. so they have something on the outside that's you comparable. Because you support rehabilitation, yes. right? Yes. That is That is the, you know, that is rehabilitation, yeah. <laughs> you know. So I, I'm sure that, you know, those doors will open as, as God says, you know, again, he doesn't want anyone to perish, right. right? That all come to repentance. So he's opening doors and doing things that are a little different than what we had coming mm -hmm. up. You know, it's, Absolutely. it's no more church as usual. You're finding that, you know, church is, it looks a little different than it did years ago. Yes. You know, and that's okay. You know, sometimes we're afraid of the change, but, you know, souls need to come to Christ and we have to be adaptive to what God is doing in the earth. Right. You know, and this is another way of, of bringing them to the Lord and they're free, you know, <laughs> they're free, <laughs> you know, and a free heart is, is the heart that touches people. Right. You know, right. so just the man you talk about who just kind of talked to you, that was a free heart. Yes. You know, there was, was so much love. It just kind of fell over everybody. It you know, sure <laughs> we it talk about sure swimming did. in the overflow. Yes. So that's what we all need. We need that, the clean heart, which is the free heart. And now we're looking into, not where I'm looking mm. into, but Newcastle is actually looking into starting the teen celebrate recovery. Oh, wow. Now, how great will that how be? How great is that? That our teens will have a comparable program of their peers. And mm. it, it's presented in a way for peers. teens. Yeah. Wow. For 12 to 17 years old. So we're looking for that to start January mm. 2020. Okay. So we're very, very excited for that. We're very, very excited for what God is doing in Northern Delaware. Celebrate that is recovery. really interesting. It's just absolutely awesome what he's doing. Teens. Teens. Yes, wow. they have a team. Uh, one is called The Landing, and it's up in Pennsylvania. Okay. We've all visited it, oh. but it's just a little far for our okay. teens to go. So it would be nice someplace teen in Newcastle recovery. County. That is exciting. It is very exciting. <laughs> it's very <laughs> That's exciting. It's exciting to get them now. Yes. You know, yes. before they make you know, the adulthood switch, you know, they yeah. can come into the adulthood free. Celebrate Recovery yeah. is blossoming. Wow. In Northern I love Delaware. that. I, I love mean. it. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. I'm sure when ministry leaders see this, you know, you can, you can automatically just see the value in it. Right. There is an automatic value. There is. You know, and for our teens to be a part of something like that, because we're always trying to find programs that catch for teens. Right. You know, more uh -huh. than just a Friday night explosion, they need something that's going to catch and carry them through successfully yes. the week. So, yes. The landing <laughs> the teens the is yeah. just extraordinary yes. in the power over our teen lives. And I guess how they process everyday information that they they're exposed to. So do they, they find that information now. on the web too? Um, team oh, recovery. Yeah, yeah. celebraterecovery.com. Hmm. Pastors.com. Pastors.com. Yeah. Okay. This is somewhere we need to explore. Yes. Um, and again, it just seems like it's just the the logical <laughs> program for it churches. Is. The logical. I mean, it's like a no-brainer. Yes. Because if God is in it and you can be healed from it, why not? Why not take a look? You know, yeah. why not go through the process yourself? Yeah. You know, and the one thing I love about Celebrate Recovery, mm -hmm. when you go in a Celebrate Recovery, the first thing you do is pray. Mm -hmm. The second thing you do is worship. You go to God and worship, and how awesome is that mm -hmm. to open your hearts at the door Praise for the Lord. whatever He has to offer. <laughs>
Let your hand be with me, keep me from evil, that I would cause no pain. No. Tuning in to Heart Ministry Radio Network and the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I'm your host, Brenda Divers, and guess who we have here today? <laughs> guess who we have? You, we all know Serena Joy. You were here, maybe was it six months ago or yeah. maybe a little longer? Yeah. And uh, But we want to always start with your conversion experience and how you came to the floor. Can you share that again for us? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I guess it all started like when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like always in church. My mom, you know, my name is Serena Joy. She prayed for that name. Mm. She, she, you know, my dad was like, oh, call me a little boy. She's like, no, just stop. We just, we're not going to say anything. I know. She knew what it was because she already got the name from God. Oh, amen. So, um, you know, I grew up going to Victory Christian Fellowship. Okay. And um, I definitely had like a, some time of like separating from like so heavily being involved yeah. in the church and everything mm -hmm. when I went to college. And but in following my purpose and passion and understanding that I was created for a reason and that God created me for a reason, um, that's really brought me back and I'm continuing to, um, you know, grow in my relationship with Amen. God. Amen. Amen. 
just continue to pray. You know, parents, continue to pray for your children. Right? Because God has God has his hands on them. So praise the Lord. So we have a we you just had a launch. We did. Yeah, so you had a release, actually. Album release. Album release, yeah. Saturday, January twelfth, mm -hmm. the album release. Amen. And the name of the project is Promise Life. And you see that certainly on our banner here, Promise Life. And I'm just so excited to hear the story. How did Promise Life even come to be? So, <laughs> we got time yet. Right. right. Um, so, on a ba very basic level, I just realized actually mm -hmm. in the new year that I had um, written on a piece of paper. Like, I can remember, it was probably early last year, 2018. Mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do an album. I don't know why, because mm -hmm. it's never been something I'm like, oh, I want to do it. That's not something that was like, I've always wanted to do. Yeah. But I wrote it down, and I wrote down, I would have the album. I needed to do these tracks for this album or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I needed to finish my workshops, because I want to do workshops with kids. Okay. Those were two things that I had for, I guess, 2018. I had specific dates, because oh. I believe in having smart goals, but sure. I did not follow them. Okay. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> At least you uh, had them written down, though, yes, right? Yes, and I put it on okay. my door, mm -hmm. and for a while, I do remember, I mean, my goal for last year was also being disciplined and mm. consistent. Amen. 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 So, um, I, but I kept walking by it. I'm not going like, I was just walking by, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I need to finish. But it was, that's not what was coming to me. Um, and I, so I started writing maybe a few other things, and I walked to work every morning okay. most days. Mm -hmm. And on my walks to work, that's when I'm just like, brush up, don't worry, just get kind of glory. <laughs> and, you know, because um, I got to see the greatness. And yeah. Worship, don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Worship, don't worry. Yes. And, you know, so then I just started making up this, like, song. And I'm like, oh, I like this. And I, <laughs> but it never even occurred to me, like, oh, I could record this mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. And then one day, I finally reached out to a producer I knew, and I said, let me, um, I think I want to do an album. I know I had, like, I literally took any piece of paper and I wrote down that I needed to do these two things. And by the end of this year, I had accomplished both oh, of these things. Great I Lord. had this album ready to release in, on January 12th. And I had, somebody had got me in contact with um, a friend of mine. Well, he's now a friend of mine, mm -hmm. but this um, young guy who helped me get my workshops together and like wow. really just he would just sit down I just need somebody to, to bounce talk up to yes, ideas yes, up and yes. think oh, is this a good idea what do you think you've worked with kids before uh -huh. so um, I've worked with kids but sometimes you just want to know like what do you think yeah what's your take on that yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, that was really helpful and now I'm like I, I'm just excited for 2019 because promise life yeah. is exactly what it is it's knowing that God has promised on my life. And so I was able to talk about that as I did my album release. Because um, each poem for me is like an instance in this journey that I'm taking. And it's like, the first track is called, I Got It All. Right, so it's like- Love that, love that. I got everything I yeah. need to succeed because the Lord made me just perfect. Yeah, you amen, know? ooh. So you hear what she said, said it. <laughs> Uh, I got everything I need to succeed because the Lord made me just perfect. Just perfect. And, um, mm. that's just, and that's just like the opening track because that's the reminder you have to have on the journey. Yeah. Like, you may feel like you don't have it. You may feel like you don't, you don't um, deserve it. But that's not true. And so like the first track is like this little upbeat track. Like, I got it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, right. Right. I, I feel yeah, it. going to work. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, pro that's promise life. It's basically what it means. And so knowing that God has promised on your life. And when I was a kid, I said, I remember I said to my mom, I thought I, I thought it was in the Bible too. I was like, I don't, I don't make promises. She's like, oh, you don't. <laughs> I'm like, no. The only person that can keep a promise is God. But he's the only one that has total control. The only one who can make sure that it's all going to come to pass. And so I know he's like, He's spoken to me. I've had confirmation. Oh. You know, like I know there's promise on my life, but, and with that, I have to continue even when I don't feel like it. And that's why um, the picture is of two hands because it's a takeoff of um, the Sistine Chapel, uh, the creation mm -hmm. of Adam, mm -hmm. and the touching. Yeah, yeah, the, Adam, yeah. But instead, it's God's pinky promise. <laughs> you know, that, like, oh, that's cool. <gasps> He, he's never let, and it, I wanted it to kind of look like you're kind of hanging off too, because sometimes you feel like you're losing, you're yeah. slipping, but he's got you. He's got you. He's 
Amen. Amen. And I think it's always beautiful, again, for me to see young people who are grounded. You know, and you're you're doing that thing that God has called you to do in the way that he's calling you to do it. So it's not a cookie cutter kind of thing. You know, God's promise is on you and this is how he wants you to, to move throughout the world. So I love that. So Promise Life, again, we're going to let you know how to get this and certainly should be a part of your library. So we want to talk about, um, and I like how you call them, what do you call them, journey tracks? Yeah, journey tracks. I call them journey tracks because... When you're following purpose and when you know that there's promise on your life, it's a journey. Yeah. Like everything you're doing is like, okay, you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to make sure you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. At least it's my personal experience. Mm -hmm. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, what do I do? Okay, I'm going to start here. And you never know where you're going to end up. But these are the tracks that I feel like, like, as I perform, I'm telling people like, the first step I had to take was mm -hmm. knowing that the dream was meant for me yeah and so the first oh. couple of tracks are called american girl and dream girl and they both deal with dreams and i'm like you can't window shop on the dream because i did that wow. and i actually had a, a young lady perform sonovia garrett she's a beautiful artist mm -hmm. um she performed before me and i was very specific about the people that i would want to mm -hmm. perform um, and there was a couple of people i was willing to have at um my show and right. for me and mm -hmm. she was one of them because I can specifically remember um saying I wanted to be a motivational speaker okay. in high school after I graduated I was there for it I was ready had it <laughs> by the time I graduated college I was like I don't no. know what I want to do like, what, happened? what happened yeah. what happened that's yeah. funny <laughs> that's not for me mm -hmm. right but I went to, we went to a poetry thing together and um at the end I was like what are you what are you going to do with poetry mm -hmm. for me I was just like I was just something I do from time to time. Right, right. And she was like, oh, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm going to be a motivational speaker. No qualms, no issues. And I can remember thinking in that wow. moment, wow, that's that's good for her. Mm -hmm. that, that's good for her, but yeah. that's not for me. But once upon a time, I was just as bold to say yeah. that. And, but at that point, I was like, well, cool. I'm happy for her. Mm -hmm. I'm happy she figured it out. <laughs> right. I, still figure out mine. Right. I still have to figure out mine. But it's like, I already had it. I already knew. And I was window shopping on it because oh. I would perform sometimes, but I wouldn't. I wasn't brave enough to call myself a poet. I could talk in front of kids, but I wasn't honing on to being a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and reaching who I know God intended me to reach. And it just took this one day being totally not where I felt like I should be, and I was in a grad school program. <laughs> It wasn't even just like I didn't like. I was like, I don't think this is it. I'm about to commit and have loans yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, I cried, I prayed, I was sick, mm -hmm. couldn't go to work. And then um, I was like, I, I just wanted somebody to tell me it's okay, but sometimes nobody's going to tell you That's it's right. okay. You just have to step out and say, this is what I'm going to do. And mm. so it was claiming the dream that was the first thing I had to do. Claim the dream. Claim it and don't window shop on it and don't have this, con like, don't misconceive what you're going through to mean that you're, it's not meant for you. That's right. That's a part of the journey yeah. that you must experience. And so, yeah. Then oh. you, I don't, yeah, it's like, then you get to the next couple of tracks and it's like, now that you know the dream is for you, don't let what anybody else says make you feel like you can't grow mm. into it. And that you're not, the next ones are called Dandelion, part one and part two. Uh -huh. And it's like, um, it talks about race a bit, which I do think also plays a, um, a, a big part, part of life. my journey. Sure. Um, but it lets you know that you are flower enough to grow. That you are, you aren't weed, you, you are weed. flower. Oh, you yeah. Flower enough to grow. I love it. I love it. And again, see for me to, to see the process. You know, see the end product, of course, but listening to the process, you know, because sometimes it takes us years to get to whatever that journey is. Mm -hmm. But along the way, there are things that happen, right. right? And nothing that we do falls to the ground. Every experience we use, yeah. right? So even the window shopping piece had to get you to this, it had to get yeah. you to this place. Definitely. Yeah, I, think, I definitely had to have the experiences of not believing in myself because mm. yeah. it it, it happens mm -hmm. but it's it's like I already knew and I knew from when I was a little kid like I liked 
performing. Mm -hmm. I was so quiet, so people would always be surprised. Like, that's, that's, that's Daphne's daughter? <laughs> that little baby. That's... And then once I was Love done, it. I was like, that little baby. Oh, amen. Hey, but you know what? It's just everybody has a personality, mm -hmm. right? And you had to be you. You know, you weren't you weren't that. And I had that, that quiet kind of, you know. But when God is ready to speak to you, you're ready to do what he says do. Yeah. Right? And then you go back and kind of chill, you know. But your, your personality is how God made you. And that's who you need to be. Right. And then you said one of the tracks, the journey tracks was sun rays. Right. Tell us about that. So after you realize that you're flower enough, mm -hmm. you have to rise to the occasion. Mm. And you can't be afraid to like be in the dirt and <laughs> like in the grime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta, but if you're in there, if mm -hmm. you're in that dirt, you can't be afraid to get out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like you can't be like, oh, you don't have to stay know, there. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I know I have this inside me, but it's just, this is where it's safe. Mm -hmm. This is where I feel safe because nobody can bother me. Nobody can, st you become vulnerable when you Even share Even in purpose. the dirt. Yes. You yes. Become, you, it's all out there. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't know. What are they going to do with yeah, it? Yeah. It, yeah. Especially when it's art. Mm -hmm. Art is like, I was like, oh my gosh, what if they don't like it? Yeah. I don't know. I really don't consider myself a singer, but I sing. Mm -hmm. And you, know? you are. You are. <laughs> I'm learning to see that. You I'm, are. I'm, I'm, yeah. get, I'm taking hold of these yeah. things. Yeah. I'm, I'm being honest because I want people to know that, yeah. like, it. This not, is what happened. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not yeah. like I woke up and was like, I, I guess. <laughs> like, I, I didn't singer. wake up always <laughs> saying I had it all. Oh. But I had to learn that. And, um, yeah, so that's what Sun Rays is. And oh. the, what I really found is I thought. So it has like this nice little tune to it behind it's like right so it's like kind of kiddie ish Aww. and stuff so i was like man i hope people don't think this is juvenile mm -hmm. um but it, i i've actually found that people are like this is this is my, nice this is like one of my favorite ones isn't that something and actually this morning my cousin um she was able to bring her kids to the event and they're six and eight and i said it was family oriented mm -hmm. because I did want people to feel comfortable bringing their kids and sure. kids are who I want to reach mm -hmm. you so it was I was very amazed to see their response and this morning she sent me a video it was like just good morning cousin Serena but my little cousin mm -hmm. was six and singing I said the sun is uh -oh. <laughs> and so How like sweet is that? I'm like thank she, you Jesus yeah she gra she's grabbing yeah. hold of what mm -hmm. is being said and poetry can be boring for kids uh -huh. you know but they were so into it and it just let me know that like I was where I needed to be yeah like I had to set up that venue I had to put it all together but it was worth it yeah like crazy I, so sun rays is, is about just like rising to the occasion and knowing that like you're not meant to be in the dark you know God is, we are like God is like you know we Meant to just stay in the dark. Yeah, it's time to burst through. Certainly, as as uh, seeds, we're in the dirt. Yeah, yeah, and getting roots and all of that. But it does birth, break forth. It has to break forth. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. matter where you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it like sometimes you're like, oh well, I'm not where I'm supposed to be for me to be able to do this. And sometimes you have to realize, like, you are, you are. And there's like a part in there where it's just basically like, there's grow now where you are planted even if your roots start in streets there's room for rerooting mm. and i my mom loves plants and okay. and i can remember specifically her rerooting plants one day and that's how i came up with that line because she was like well they need to grow they they're, they they, they need grow room. just right yeah. there they need more room so yeah. i have to reroot them and i was like oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you guys like, that's so cool right. yeah like, it was mm. so much more for me when she said that. i was like you can't just sit here and say, well, it's not my time. Yeah. And it's never going to be your time. Yeah. Oh, rerooting. And see, you know, you're a young woman, but these are life lessons. Yeah, definitely. You know, even for myself, I have children, grandchildren, you know, <laughs> but there's still a, a rerooting process, yeah. right? So I love that. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go and do what God has called you to do, because that's when you shine. It is. That's yeah. when you shine because you're where God has wants you to be. I love that. Yeah. I think it's amazing just to know like when you're I feel like if you're following purpose, 
you're automatically going to be more drawn towards God because he's the one who's created it. And it's just like, for me, I find like more hunger. Like I'm like, I was, I like to listen to One Church LA on um, podcasts while I'm at work and I'm like, oh, I got it. I gotta write this down so I can read it. <laughs> like, right? I gotta know more like, about him. Oh, I need to know someone. because if I'm gonna get to where he wants me to be, because it's, it's partially not even about me. I'm like, please listen, because this wasn't about mm -hmm. me. I would have never did an album if it wasn't for me feeling like I had to, and that feeling didn't come from like me. I was like, that's God. Yeah. I know people have been reached, and every time I know that, it just makes me want to go more. Yeah. Because he's. He's doing a work through me, and there's no greater honor. Mm. That's what it feels like. Amen. Amen. And I thank you for saying that, because it is to be chosen by God to do the work. That is an honor. It is. It's an honor and a privilege that God said, okay, I want you to do this, and I want you to do that, and I'm with you all the way. You know, and again, to see a young woman finding her purpose as a young woman. You know, when you become my age, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know what you will become but starting purpose early and I, I remember the last time you you were talking about purpose and how you had to start early your mom just put that in you early yeah, yeah. you know yes I love that oh so promise life it's 11 journey tracks and I love that so your tracks are called journey tracks right. and there are 11 of them so how do we get the project um, you can go on iTunes and stream it on iTunes look up Serena Joy promise life it's also on Apple Music, Spotify Music, and most other um, digital streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. So if you look up Serena Joy, Promise Life, it will come up. You'll see this right, that you see behind mm -hmm. you. That's the cover. Yeah. And um, it's really there to help you through your journey. If you're seeking, even if you don't know your promise, even if you don't know the purpose yet in full, the, these tracks are just like, don't give up like keep the journey going because even if you're in the midst of figuring it out you'll get there and you'll probably figure out that like hey i already knew i had some of these pieces already mm -hmm. and now you're putting them together and there's that song in me there's a poem called song in me on the album that's basically about me knowing i had letters i was writing letters at a young age mm -hmm. and just scribbling and writing stuff down in little poems. My mom's like, you remember your poems? <laughs> Mommy cares. She keeps everything, right? Mothers right. keep everything. Yeah. And I have a whole recorder of me mm. just singing songs mm. from when I was like, probably like seven or something. And most of them are like little gospel songs, but I, one in particular, I always remember is like, what you want is what you want. Cause I'm an only child. Mm. Obviously, what I want <laughs> is what, what I want. I want. <laughs> That's all no you want else, to right? have. I guess I'm going through a moment. Mm. <laughs> But, you know, it's nothing <laughs> falls to the ground. <laughs> nothing falls to the ground. But it's so amazing to know that like, I did that when I was just a kid. And I'm sure I could have made a CD with all those tracks. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but, um, and now this is something that I would have been able to do. And praise the Lord. Praise you know, the Lord. And we actually, when you said as a child, my sisters and I would sing as children. Mm -hmm. And then when we were adults, we took those songs from you know our childhood and put them together oh, so i love yes. to see that kind of thing um going full circle yeah. so we have to go out and get promised life with the renowned she's already gospel renowned um so what what genre it is it is gospel or christian music what do you fall under that's a good question we were like so you have to do like i did um what's it called sound skin uh -huh. so we're like well, what do we put it under? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> inspirational. It's like inspirational. It's going to cross everybody, That's cross culture. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. word. There's rap. Yeah. There's song. There's song in, within the poetry. Okay. So, like, I find people re just recognizing each thing. It's like, oh, I like this song. And I'm like, well, you know, that one's like a poem. Right. Like, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I, like, I like that track. It, that journey has, track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has. The, so, it, like, I don't know. I I say it. it's spoken word infused with music. Mm, and, yeah, um, yeah. Definitely inspirational, motivational. But it's all leading you back yeah, to God, definitely. and that's the thing. You know, He gives us our own way of you know just drawing people to Him because He gets all the glory out of. It. Praise the Lord. So that's so cool. You're, you're okay being you. You're okay being Serena Joy. 
that that precious again when she walks in the room that ray of sunshine that comes with her and you know, that's the sun right the sun of yeah. god as he shines and that's what we should be sun rays yeah. yep sun rays see there <laughs> yeah. sun rays one I mean, of her journey know, tracks and when you're with her, that's what i'm really talking about yeah. it's like i i said the sun is so beautiful I love the way it feels on me. Like when you feel yes, God shining on you, yes, He's calling Lord. you to your purpose. Like that's that's what it's about. You yeah, know? it's. But there's so many. That's what I love about poetry too. It's just like you can listen to it and you can get what you need to get. From mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. and, um, oh wow! And you can just let it play. You know, I love to just have things in the background, just playing. You know. But this is giving glory to God again. I'm so I'm so grateful to see young people who are just fixed, <laughs> you know, you're fixed in that, you know, you're looking up and you're saying, okay, God, what do you want me to do on the earth? And then he's giving it to you. How about that? Yeah. You know, so he's giving it to you at your age and you can just move, just move. You know, there's nothing holding you back. Nothing, nothing. Right. That is, that is it. That's, right? Yeah, no, no, that's definitely, that's part of it too. It's like, that's the worship, don't worry. When you feel yes. like you're, you're like, oh, the battle, like, you know, and I was just like, worship don't worry, that's, that's a weapon they can't take away. And why are you doing it? I love it. I love it. Worship a weapon they can't hold. Mm. Ooh, worship a weapon that they can't hold. Like, that's something that, oh, worship, is there is there a track called Worship a Weapon? Well, no, it's called Worship Don't Worry. Oh, worship, okay. The, Ooh, the version of Worship a Weapon that they can't hold. Most of these downloads are Jericho. They're asking me, what am I singing for? Because I seem like my life is a musical. And that's like I was saying, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like that's that that was something like I'm walking to work and I'm like feeling like yeah. where I'm not exactly I wasn't doing much poetry to the eyes outside. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything. They didn't know I was working on a CD, so I was very quiet and it's probably looked like I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. And I felt kind of down because I felt like I wasn't doing much. I was like, is this enough? Yeah. Like, is the CD gonna mean anything to anybody outside of myself? And so, you know, yes, I, I know, I know. Yes, I have to. <laughs> yes but know. yeah, because that's the work he's called you to do. And you will touch that that remnant of people that he wants you to touch. That's all you're responsible of doing the work, <laughs> right? He powers, but he drives the work, right? So when you don't feel, because sometimes we're in numbers, everything's a numbers thing. If you don't hitting these numbers or getting these likes and all of that, right. then you don't feel that, you know, your purpose. Um, so just knowing that God has you and he has the, the, the method, he has the pace that you need to go and stay focused, you know, put blinders on, yeah. you know, because again, these numbers can kind of trip you up, mm -hmm. you know, he can give you numbers now and then num not, you know, it's not right. so much later, but that's not what you're here for numbers, right. right? You're just here to do what God called you to do and he'll make you grow mm -hmm. in his time. Yeah. So you go ahead. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of this young lady. That's our time, Serena Joy. But I just want to say thank you for, for joining us. You've got to go out and get Promise Life by Serena Joy. And she has 11 journey tracks on it. I love that. I love that. And you can get her music on all of the digital outlets. Right? So thank you, Serena, for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. And you've got to get it. you just got to get it. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, hey, I think they're wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yes, and they are. And she's got a lot going on. But just spending time with us at the studio today, I'm so grateful for that. And to see you again and see that, you know, she's still, again, shining. She's still shining for Jesus. So join us often here at heartministryradio.com. Again, you'll see Serena Joy. You'll hear Serena Joy, right? Because certainly we support what you're doing. Amen. God bless you. Most high.
with you, nothing is impossible. All things are possible. You are God Most High. For with you, nothing is impossible. All things are possible. You are. Tuning in to Heart Ministry Radio Network and the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I am your host, Brenda Divers, and we all know who we have with us today. Hi, everyone. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chanel Walker Bailey, we're yes. so excited to have yes. you back. And of course, you know, she, you've been a family member for years. Absolutely. And um, just to see the growth and you know, what God is doing in your life and yes. that the gifts are manifesting themselves in such a wonderful way. Yes, God is blowing my mind yes. as a result. Amen. It's like a won't he do it kind of situation. <laughs> and, and you are uh, a testimony yeah. to the dreams that God puts in you, yep. right? Yep. You know, we say our dreams, yes. but if they're God things, God dropped those dreams inside yes. of us yes. and won't let us go. You know, yeah. when you say, I'm not going to do it right now, you Pug, you know, it's tugging. Yeah, he's he tugging. Won't. Yes, he won't let he you go. He won't stop. Because there is a remnant of people who you need to touch. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So we are responsible. This is a problem. We solve a problem. Yep. Right? So we're going to talk about today um, what's going on with Real Bold Truth. Wow. What's new with Real Bold Truth? You know, um, Chanel has her show, um, Real Bold Truth, and um, it started initially with like a few minutes of you know talking through and then she went to a full-blown show yeah. radio show then a full-blown tv show you know so just the progression and again the growth yeah. you know it's yeah. so good to see i mean even when you you explain it you know and still hearing it mm -hmm. kind of like blows my mind because it doesn't seem that long yeah. ago that the birthing of real bold truth actually mm -hmm. took place yeah because yeah. it was it was it was really if i could just give a little bit of history mm -hmm. it was That's just true. six years ago when wow. the Real Bold Truth blog itself was birthed. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it was birthed, for those who may not have any history about Real Bold Truth, mm -hmm. is that I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired okay. of fighting this mental perception mm -hmm. that I had of myself okay. and fighting um, depression. Mm -hmm. I have very, been very open and very honest about dealing in my struggles yes. with depression for yes. more than two decades mm -hmm. or more. And so I just got tired. I said, you know what? I have always been a writer by nature. I've always kept some type of journal, mm -hmm. some type of yes. book ever since I can remember. But this time with our wonderful world of technology, mm -hmm. you can <laughs> write online. And I figured and I, it on. absolutely. Yes. So yes. I started a blog and I said, I don't care if I make it public mm -hmm. and if anybody sees it, they can judge it. I'm yeah. going to write my pain away. Mm -hmm. And that's how the I Real Bold Truth that. blog was birthed. Me just being open and honest and wanting to give my pain away. Yeah. Yep. Write your pain away. Yeah, I love that because yeah. when we can write it down, yeah, then it's on paper. We can look at it. Yeah, and then sometimes it's closure it, for us because yep. you're you've gotten it out and you look at it and you just send it on. Yeah, you know. So, but I didn't realize how many people that it was going to impact. impact because as I made the blog public, mm -hmm. people began to find the blog, read the blog, mm -hmm. whisper oh, in your <laughs> ear about the blog. <laughs> As um, somebody who was following the blog mm. uh, told you about it, and I met you at a retreat yes. some five yes. years ago or so. That and even, it seems like just the other day. It really does. Wow. And when you got up to uh, address the participants mm -hmm. at the retreat, you were talking about this wonderful writer in our midst, mm -hmm. and she's a blogger <laughs> and an author, and I was sitting there like, wow, I about? want to meet this person. <laughs> I had no idea who she was yeah. talking about. And when you said Chanel Walker Bailey mm -hmm. and the room erupted, I was like so taken aback. I'm like, who is the mole oh. in this room? <laughs> and, and that's, you know, there's always somebody watching, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Always is. somebody listening. Yeah. And um, I remember who told me. Yeah. You know, and you just made an impression. Yeah. I think you guys were maybe sitting around, um, uh, well, a meal or something. Yeah, we were having, having dinner. dinner. Yes. Yeah. And that so impacted her. That she, you know, she, you need to talk to her. <laughs> you know, yeah. she's a, a yeah. fantastic and dynamic young woman. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just so good. Again, I feel like the mommy. Yeah. Right? She is the mommy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For like sure. Like my baby. You know? <laughs> and, you know, just to see the growth and see the yeah. steps. Yeah. You know, because yeah. sometimes it's baby steps. Sometimes they're hard steps. Yeah. But you have to take the steps. I was so nervous and so intimidated mm -hmm. because naturally I am an introvert, but people don't perceive me to be such. Mm -hmm. But I am. And when I met you, I was still very much <laughs> in the midst of coming mm -hmm. out yeah. of my shyness and my wilderness and my depression mm -hmm. and and being around people 
publicly mm. was never my comfort right. zone. And so when you were just like, oh, we got to have these blogs on the radio. <laughs> and she had a whole vision. We're going to pipe them in yeah. in the midst of the music segments. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at you like, what in the world is this pretty woman talking about? <laughs> just let go. <laughs> you know, and it was just so, I yeah. think it was so natural. Yeah. Um, because of the, I guess the... We're both visionaries. Yeah. Right. I didn't know it at the time, right. but yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. God just connected us and yeah. it just flowed so easily. It did. You know? Yeah. Because you, I get that's the gifting that you yeah. have. You stretched me completely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> God used her as the vessel Praise to Lord. stretch me in places that I never thought oh. possible to be able to you know, speak publicly and then get in front of a camera, which was the next step because the Robo Truth went from the audio yes, to, to the TV. visual mm-hmm. platform and half an hour shows. And I was like, oh my Lord, <laughs> <laughs> what are but you they doing? they would never know. When the anointing is upon you, he makes it easy. Yeah. And they would never know that there was any trepidation. But that's yeah. the thing. You never know mm-hmm. what's in you yeah. until the mess that's inside of you begins to get dealt with and healed yeah. and moved aside. Yeah. You don't know so what's underneath thing, of yes. all of that. And there's so much more. Yes. You know, there's there so is, much there more. Is. And that's, that's yeah. the beauty I think in it to yeah. see the steps, yeah. you know, yeah. see the blossoming of it, yeah. you know, cause I'm telling you, it's hard for me to hold back when, you know, we talk about, we talk about what you're doing and, you know, cause today we're talking about, she's got a whole, course <laughs> she's got a whole course now that she's teaching and it's called the mentality makeover yeah so tell us about that so just to back up a little mm-hmm. bit the robo truth platform has been kind of quiet in 2019 mm-hmm. you know sometimes you have to kind of like step away and go into what i call kind of like a spiritual mm-hmm. hibernation yes. to find out yes. what the next steps mm-hmm. are from, from God. Yes, so yes. I've been in a quiet place. Mm-hmm. So any real bold truth um, shows or blogs or anything that people have been seeing have been, those have been previously recorded mm-hmm. in the past. And so just over the last several months, God has been birthing this amazing vision, mm-hmm. amazing vision. Yes. And I'm like, this is far and beyond that I could ever ask or think mm-hmm. that's scripture and it and it was yes, so we know it's God like, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. so he said Chanel I took you through a thing you were delivered from this mm-hmm. mountain of oppression yes. in your mind and you've entered into the state of mental wellness mm-hmm. now Praise and you've been able to do it every day all day mm-hmm. with these steps and this the guidance tools, and yes. this deliverance mm-hmm. and these tools yes. that I have given you. Now I need you to teach and train other people how to do the same thing Amen. because it's needed. So the writer in me began to do what I do best. Right. And mm-hmm. I began to write, take some of the material from the blogs that were written mm-hmm. already, some of the shows previously recorded, the information that God was downloading yes. into me right. from the Holy Spirit. And then before you know it, I had this master class mm-hmm. and God gave me the name entitled The Mentality Makeover. And I love yes. that. I love yes. it. And again, again, I think that's the overarching theme now because we see how we have suffered yeah. over the years. Yep. Maybe not having the tools, maybe being ashamed to even say that there's a problem. Yeah. Not even knowing sometimes what the problem is. Especially if you're yeah. a believer. There's yes. such a stigma in the body of Christ Absolutely. that you're saved. How how could you suffer from oppression? How could you suffer from depression yes. and anxiety and fear? Mm-hmm. When God died on the cross mm-hmm. over 2,000 years ago, you should be set free the minute you say, Lord, come into my yes. life. But it's a process. It is. You have to learn. You mm-hmm. have to take steps. You have to sometimes go back and deal with some yeah. very painful past situations in order to birth a new you. Amen. And that is yeah. so good. You know, you give us permission yeah. to, you know, go inside. Mm-hmm. Give us permission to say, I have an, I have an issue. Although I'm saved, yeah. sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. there are some issues that I have. Yeah. And that's how we touch people in the world. Yeah. You know, so yeah. again, we're talking so much about this mental mental um, illness issue yeah. that I think more people are feeling comfortable, Yeah, you know, even getting counseling yeah. or talking in a sister circle. I think it's another know? thing that we're framing it differently mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. the word mental illness yes. just sounds like it has such mm-hmm. a stigma on it. It just sounds so 
labeling. Mm-hmm. And so when you when you when you say the same thing a little yeah. bit differently, people become a little bit more receptive yes. and more relaxed. Mm-hmm. And if you know they can they can relate to somebody or mm-hmm. talk to somebody yeah. that says, "Hey, you know me too," I've or been "I've been there, I've done Lord. that," and be transparent and telling their story, mm-hmm. then folks begin to open yeah. up and kind of yeah. like you know. Take those release. walls down. Yeah, release. <laughs> Breathe, yes. release. You know, was, I was yeah. talking to someone, and, you know, we had the same kind of personality. Mm-hmm. And back when we were coming up, they would call it um, go-getter or um, work off, um, workaholic and that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, when it could, could have been diagnosed, diagnosed as something else. Right. <laughs> you know? So OCD we, in there somewhere. Absolutely. You know, and, and we were just laughing. Yeah. But we called it something different, but it yeah. was the same thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I, I just love that we have the freedom in this day and time yeah. to call it what it is and then lay it at the altar. Yep. You know, yeah. it's nothing God can't do, but he doesn't sometimes. I mean, there have been people who've accepted Christ as Savior. Yeah. Once they did, there's he just took all of that away, yeah. right? Yeah. But then there are other people that have to go through the process. Yeah. He's God still process touching person. you. He's still yeah. touching you. But again, there's a remnant of people that you have to touch, Yeah. right? So you yeah. have to go through the process. Had to, absolutely. Amen. And there was another process that I had to go to in this sabbatical, spiritual mm-hmm. sabbatical time. I went back to get my certification as a life coach. I, I believe I did share that yes. last year mm-hmm. um, that I did get my certification as a life yes. coach through the National Association of Certified Coaches. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so, again, God began to put those two elements together mm-hmm. as a life coach in the segment of mental wellness yeah. is something that is needed. But I don't believe that people really truly understand the um, value of yeah. being, um, of having and partnering with a life coach. I like uh, that. Yeah, I life like coaching that. is not therapy. Mm-hmm. There's a difference mm-hmm. between the two. Yeah. Therapy deals with the reveal, deal, and heal process. Mm-hmm. That process that, that people individually have to explore mm-hmm. when it comes to what is this issue that you're dealing with, this hurt, yes. this pain, this trauma, so that Wonderful. you can begin to talk about it so that you p- can begin to heal. Yes. But yes. then a life coach mm-hmm. will begin to help you to identify the steps, very specific Love steps, that. very specific goals that you need to take yeah. every single day yeah. so that that hurt that you're dealing mm-hmm. with in therapy doesn't continuously cripple yes, you. I love it's that. a it's a it's a practice. Tool, yeah, and you're every providing day. tools for that. Yep. Yeah, providing tools and. And I coaching. love how you differentiate it. Yeah. With the coaching and yeah. the you know the therapy and you know if they can combine. Wow, <laughs> integration, you know, integration. Because you can't help it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. because you have been certified. Yeah. And that, and yeah. then of course with the clap you're. You're getting all of that, yeah, in yeah. one in one course. And I've went through it myself. Mm-hmm. I, I again, no shame, no yeah. guilt, no condemnation. I have had therapy by a licensed counselor, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I have um, had coaching as mm-hmm. well. And the two together have just been, I mean, over the top, yeah, life changing, transformational mm-hmm. for me. And I'm just so excited, and certainly want to share it with other people. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. aren't you excited about this? <laughs> You know, again, I'm just so grateful that now things are coming to the forefront yeah. and we can no longer hide in the shadows, yeah. you know. And our children, you know, the world that they're coming up in, mm. they need the tools yeah. in order to just function day to day. Yeah. You know, yeah. what we experience, they're getting tenfold yeah. because of technology. Yeah. All these things are exposed, but to give them those tools. You know, I love, and you're going to come up with a course for the, the teens, right? Or for you? Yeah, she's going ahead of it. Oh, but well, yes, yes, that is what oh, God I'm has given me. Let forward. me just explain a little mm-hmm. bit about the mentality makeover. It's a four to six weeks, four to six week master class okay. that mm-hmm. you can take, that anyone who enrolls can can take and go through the, the information at their own place at their own pace okay. but everything needs mm. to be completed within four to six weeks okay. and so the subjects or the topics in the class or in the course that are being dealt with are mm-hmm. fear worry anxiety depression mm-hmm. even if you're going through some grief and some you know addictive behavior patterns yeah. you could benefit from taking the online master class like and within that master class there are um it's guided 
Uh, you will have me as your tough coach to make sure mm -hmm. that you are the, staying on mark mm -hmm. and, yes, mm -hmm. being held accountable, yes. staying on task, and doing the work every single day so right. that you can yeah. remain set free. Not just have, you know, moments. a number of mm -hmm. moments yeah. or days yeah. or yeah. blocks where you're free and then you, you slump back again, mm -hmm. but tools to stay set free regularly. Yes. I all day that. every day i love that yes. and again you've been through the process yes so you know what you need yeah. daily yeah. to support that every you day. know yeah so you know i know you're just well we have to tell them where to go because yes. i'm sure they're writing they're waiting for that yes so how do we get involved how do we register for the course okay so probably the easiest way to get there is to go to my website my website is www chanelwalkerbailey.com okay. and then there is a link that is above on the the title stream that says rbt institute so that's okay. real bold truth institute mm -hmm. once you click on rbt institute it'll take you to the platform where the um the courses are wow are, are housed and there is a free um, a free preview of the course that you can register for complimentary. Okay. Mm. Take about 10 minutes to look at the, the content for, for free mm -hmm. to see if you would want to consider yeah. registering for the full that. content. I love yeah. that. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I, see, God has covered all the bases. Yes. You know, and like you said, it's a guided, like, like guided tours. Yep. It's a guided um, experience. And yep. sometimes it's easier for us to kind of do it in the privacy of our own homes yeah you know where there's no condemnation there's no guilt you know you can kind of work these things out by like pointing fingers yeah the only oh. thing is is that um and, and it's a choice for the enrollees mm -hmm. what comes with the enrollment are two uh 30 minute telephone live coaching sessions with me and you can Wonderful. talk about whatever you want to talk about in those 30 minutes that are applicable to the mentality makeover and your goals and that's optional that comes wow. with the course as well but that's one on one with you that's one on one with me yeah listen <laughs> <laughs> and you know and again you've covered all the bases and I, yeah. while you were talking i was remembering when god gave it to you yeah, and we were we were getting together. He said, "I have something to share." Yeah, yeah. I have something to share. I was so <laughs> excited. excited. I just knew that thing was going to be launched the next day, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it was a lot of work I had know, to do. Yeah, but that was just so good. Yeah. Again, for me yeah. to see the seed, right? Yeah, and again, all the fertilization that has to happen, and sometimes. There's some trials that have to come, yes, right, while we're yes. working through the process yep. so we can be strengthened, yep. you know, yep. and just to see what has come out of that, yeah. you know, the gold, the refined yep. gold yeah, that has God, come out of that. Yeah, He showed me the reason. I'm mm -hmm. like, why was I doing all this writing? Why was wow. I doing all these real bold truth mm -hmm. shows? Why this and why that? And then as he began to link all the pieces together to show me, I was yeah. just like, nothing was for naught but nothing was just for yeah. me only mm. it was me for others yes you know yes yeah i love that yeah because whatever we're going through it's not just for us it's not and many times it's for someone else that we yeah. have to touch yeah you know and for you being free enough and trusting god enough yeah. <laughs> you know we kicking and screaming Ooh. why me why Roll me why listen me? i get it <laughs> yeah. Get it. yeah but you should go to the website you have to go yeah and everything is so i think it's again it's simplistic in nature that you can just click here this is where i need to go yeah. there's no you don't have to get a manual to go through your web yeah. website yeah. <laughs> you know exactly yeah exactly. so it's, it's point by point and um the fact that you can just preview some things is yeah. always good. Yeah, right? and I don't want people to get intimidated because mm -hmm. sometimes you think about a class, you're thinking about, I don't know, like school. Yeah. You know, doing the mm -hmm. master class, again, is convenient at your own pace, your own time. And I would recommend, I do recommend mm -hmm. that anybody that enrolls takes two modules per week and just take 30 minutes okay. twice a week to go through the material, wow. to meditate on it, to begin to apply mm. things. It doesn't take much time. It's okay. about implementing new habits so that you don't have to entertain, yeah. you know, whatever thought that drops into your mind as if you don't have any other choices because mm -hmm. the devil is a liar. Yes, about that. <laughs> yes. I, love, I love that. Yeah. Again, because we can take small chunks. Yep. It's just small chunks. Small chunks. Yeah. And every day. Putting that in every day, every day, using those tools. Yeah, this is so good. Yeah, you know, mentality maker. One other thing you talked about was self image or self esteem. That was another. Oh yes. another, um, that is another module okay. in um, the mentality makeover courses is, is self image as well, self perception. Mm. Yep. 
And that's where we get caught. We get caught there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we get do. caught there. We do. So, and I love this. I again, so proud of you, Thank Chanel. You. But so then proud. to go back to mm-hmm. spring, she gave you a sneak preview of the next um, thing to come mm-hmm. on um, or with through RBT Institute, which is the the uh, second arm of the Real Bold yeah. Truth. Mm-hmm. Ministries LLC um, is the institute, the learning platform, but the next portion portion that's going to be birthed is the mentality makeover for teens, and that's going to be for ages 13 through 17, Mm -hmm. and a lot of, some of the same topics, but others that teenagers are dealing with as they're developing and growing, Mm -hmm. very specific Mm -hmm. to them, will be available by the end of this year. Wow. Yeah. What a a wonderful um, gift to give someone. Yeah. You know, and the holidays are coming. Yep. Why not now decide to give someone this? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And the holidays mm-hmm. are critical. A lot mm-hmm. of people suffer mm-hmm. from, um, you know, depression and oppression mm-hmm. around the holidays. You know, it reminds them of what they used to have, yeah. what they don't have, who they lost. Mm-hmm. And people, you know, the weather changes and something mm-hmm. about the summer months oh, yeah. and the, the daylight, <laughs> you know, not being as long. Mm-hmm. And it brings on a spirit of it heaviness. Does. Does. So this is a perfect time right now yes. to enroll in something like that to keep you to keep you going. I love that. Yeah. And you said something about the, the seasons. Yeah. And I know for myself. When that Christmas comes mm-hmm. in the air, mm-hmm. I know winter's coming. And yeah. I have to fortify myself yeah. because I always got low yeah. when the sun went away. You know, yeah. the kind, you know, so I have to fortify myself. Yeah, we're and shut in. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. We're in the house. We're mm-hmm. looking outside like, oh, where's the <laughs> beach? Like, where's the do sand? That. Where's... <laughs> So, you know, you know the triggers yeah. in your life, you yeah. know. And, again, and they're real. Yes, yes. They and, can take you mm-hmm. out if you oh, let I love them. that. They yep. will take you out. Yeah. They will take you out. But this, you have a you have a way to work through those issues, mm-hmm. right? Yep. God is anointed. There. Again, there are some good ideas, and then there are some God ideas. Mm. Yeah, right? absolutely. And the God idea is the thing he puts in us and won't let us, won't let us go. Won't. Won't let us I go. Mean, it will harass yes. you at two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, going to do this God. now. Or what? You I know? hear you. <laughs> Not my will be yes. done, but yours. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. So we thank God for your willingness yes. to share your story mm-hmm. and your willingness to express in the giftedness. Because He gave you that gift. Yes, He did. He gave you yeah. that to bless Him and bless His people. Yep. You know, I can't <laughs> wait to see what's unfolding. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. But it's just so good to see um, young women. Right? You're mm-hmm. still a young woman. Um, I believe I am. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, just kind of walking out their yes. purpose. Yes. You know, because yeah. where there's perfect, and where there's purpose, there's peace. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is, that's That good. is such peace that's when you good. are walking in the thing that God has told you to do. You yeah. know it. You know, you don't have to, oh, I want to be fulfilled. What is my, yeah. you know it. When you know that thing, yes. you light up. You are just... Fearless. I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> a force to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. You're just passionate and vibrant and, and, and enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. There's just Get something about, about purpose. Yes. And again, you up purpose the for every single one of mm-hmm. us is hidden underneath mm-hmm. those who are not operating in mental wellness. Yeah. There's something out there for you to do that God ordained and put you on this earth specifically to do. Yes. And if you take away all those layers of what, is trying to stop that mm-hmm. purpose from being birthed. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm telling you, mm-hmm. there's nothing like the it. The sky opens. It does. It <laughs> does. Every door, yeah. every window begins Praise to open. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're just excited about the mentality makeover. Tell us again where to go. Yep. Go to my website, and my website again is www chanelwalkerbailey dot com. You can email me if you like at rbt at ChanelWalkerBailey.com or give me a call at 302-635-0709 for more information. Wonderful. And of yeah. course, all the information will be on, on the yeah. bottom. So yeah. give her a call. You know, go on the site. Yeah. Take your, you know, your free 10 minutes to just kind of see yeah. if this is where God wants yep. you to go. And when God says do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for tuning in to Heart Ministry Radio Network and the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I am your host, Brenda Divers, and today I have with me the incomparable <laughs> Barbara Fresnel from the Fresnel Barb from the Fresnel Group. That's right. It. Yeah. And you, we, you're asking, where do I know this face? They're asking that. Where do I know this face? And you know that Barbara has been with us for some time. Um, she gave us all these wonderful, wonderful um, house tips, you know, when you were doing the heart of your home. That's right. And um, so that's why she looks so familiar. So she is multi-talented. Um, she's still doing that. Yes, I and am. She, and the Lord's also given her a new kind of empire to build. Right, the right. Fennell group. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. So that's why you that's why you recognize her because she's been with us for some time. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. welcome back, Barb. Thank you. And again, um, we did this interview a couple of years ago when we were just doing radio, and um, I always like to come back, you know, because there's always an experience that God has for us, you know, as we're going forward. Yes. And now we're doing it for TV. Mm. So. Uh, my again, my favorite question is, what was your conversion experience and how you came to know the Lord? Can you share that with us? I sure can. Well, as a young child, I lost my mom at the age of nine. Mm. And during my teenage years, I moved in uh, and was raised partially by my aunt, which was her sister, who okay. was a reverend. Oh. Uh, shout out to the late Reverend yes. Ruth Young. Amen. And Amen. she... Uh, got me immediately involved in church, Shallow Christian Community mm -hmm. Church in Baltimore with the Reverend George W. Baynard. And I say today, that was old school church. Okay, you and don't see that too much, no, right? No, not at all, I, I miss know. it. Mm -hmm. So with that experience, I was um, involved with uh, the church groups, the youth groups, mm -hmm. the usher boards, the choirs, okay. and things like that. And we would be in the choir just doing our thing. And one day I was in the choir and I felt this warmness, and that warmth let me know that that was God. Mm. And from then on, I've been chasing that warmth because mm. I knew He was there yeah. in my life. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I've had my moments up and down, in and out, mm. which maybe some people would understand. Sometimes you feel like you're not connected mm. with God, but ultimately, He is always there. He lets us know. Yeah. So I would say it came from early childhood, and it's still with me oh, today. Amen. 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 And praise the Lord for that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So when we when we accept Him as Savior, then we know He's going to be always there, yes. right? Yes. You know, we all we do have that ebb and flow, <laughs> up and down. Yeah. You know, but He promised that He would never leave us or forsake us. Yes. Right. Yes. So, and that's so sweet mm, because you know your friends so and sweet. your family and people that you meet through life mm -hmm. sometimes. They say, well, I'll be there for mm -hmm. you, and you never see him, yeah. you know, and when you really need someone, he's always he's there. He's always there. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise yes. the Lord. So tell us a little bit about Barbara the Woman. Okay, Barbara the Woman is a single woman uh, dealing with uh, life on her own as it, as it comes. Uh, I tend to lean on God. Mm -hmm. I feel like he is my partner, life that? partner. Um, and I've done many things um, that I needed to lean on him and know that he was there as a single woman yeah. in the world today. Yeah. It has changed. Um, I have grown children now. I have grandchildren, two teenage granddaughters, and a 20, wow. almost 24-year-old grandson. Ooh, okay. So it's like I'm being a mom <laughs> all, all over, over again. again. Yes, and yes. they have their own lives and their own situations that they bring to grandma. Mm -hmm. They, we love Aww. each other dearly. Wonderful. I spend a lot of time with, with them. them. Yeah. I love them. And um, so that's my world in terms of family. I have sisters and brothers mm -hmm. that uh, the Lord has blessed us after the death of our parents that we are still the six that my parents originally wow. had. Wonderful. And so that's a blessing wow. to have all of my sisters and brothers Together. intact. <laughs> so I, um, I think that's something to brag about. Yeah, about that. And I uh, work hard and I've got uh, business plans and ideas and I work along with a lot of business owners mm -hmm. uh, throughout my career. And uh, I'm kind of like at the point now where I know that God's leading me into yeah. something more of my own. Uh, because I've been sharing 
or hearing from a lot of people that I'm coming in contact with that you you really have something special. Oh. You talk to me in a real way. Amen. You're able to help me. I can't get this when I walk into my local bank. Right, right. So, you know, I'm feeling that that's the, the way direction God. that God's trying to move me into. Amen. And this is Marketplace Ministry. You know, <laughs> it's for the marketplace. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if you know this, but Barbara and I work together. Yes. Right? That's where we met each yes, other. Yes, we met at Swift Capital. Yes, yes. yes. What mm -hmm. a sweet, a sweet um, time that I've had with you always. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, we, yes. sat, we sat, sat next to each other. Actually, same. next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually had to have you leave the office the day you weren't yes. feeling well because yes. you were going to fight it out. <laughs> You know how these companies want you there, whether you're sick, you're yeah. ill, you got kids, they don't care. And I'm like, you know, this place will be here, right. Brenda. Go you ahead. Gotta take care of yourself, no matter what. Yeah. And I don't think you've looked back since okay. then. And they've gone on too, so it yeah. was the best decision. Yeah. God has something thank you. in store so you were, for you. You were with me that, that last sure moment, was. so um, thank you. You're thank welcome. Thank you for that. Yeah. I never forget oh, that. Isn't that something? Yeah. And God always has somebody. Like you said, you know, they may, people may leave you. Or, yes. But God always has somebody. Right. You know, it may not be the person in your family or even a close friend, but it's somebody that you are close enough to, to relate to. Yes. Right? Yes. And I think during our time, even there, we, you know, that's when I think we, our hearts kind of connected. Connected. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It yes. was beyond the work yes. environment. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. And here we are back again. I that. Jeez, so circle. we really never left each other, no. just like God has <laughs> never left me, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, and if anyone has come to my home, um, there is a, a Fennel touch in my home. Um, when we had our fire. Yes. Because, um, you know, you tend to, what you tend to do, what I tend to do, is if something is in that place, I'll change it, but I'll put it right back in that place. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And we had a Bible study, and you were coming to our Bible study. That's right. And there was something about my living room that didn't get you. You know, it was like, I got to do something in this room. <laughs> and she was so sweet, she, you know. But once we had came, once we came back after that fire, she said, let me, let me just arrange some things. And the way you arrange my home, I, I haven't changed it. Praise the I Lord have not for that. And that's it. a compliment. <laughs> it is. I don't take it as, it uh, is. you know, while I put something in place mm -hmm. and she never moved it. I that never. lets me know that it was right for it you. It was. It and was. even your husband, uh, he, Ken. As soon as he came down. Yeah. yeah. You know, he was giving me this look like, what is this lady doing in my house? And the compliment came from mm -hmm. him because he said to me, as long as we've been here, I never thought about this arrangement. That's right. That's so right. I'm being complimented yes. from you keeping it the Absolutely. way it was. Because he, <laughs> he said, this is perfect. No. You know, but you sometimes you need someone. And that's a, that's a, a message. You need someone sometime to come in and shake things up. Mm. Just a little bit. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. Because you said, just let me place things. Yes. And the things that were maybe in my bedroom are now in another part of the room. See there? Uh, part of the house. Mm -hmm. And they look perfect there. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, so don't don't despise what God is doing in your life. Don't fight everybody who That's comes right. into your life. No. You know, just no. allow God to move. And he'll give you peace about it. He'll give you wisdom. He right? sure Because we will. always ask for that. Yes. But I'm telling you, she's got a, she's got a touch um, with the home. And now she's got a touch. And you've always had that with, in the business world. You know, you've always had that because you came, okay. you came to where we work with that. So, um, again, this is the empire now that um, she's building for the kingdom, yes. and God has given you the key. Yes, He has. Right? Yes. Praise uh -huh. the Lord. Yeah, opening the door. Opening for the door. Someone, you know, I I'm touched now by people who are have that entrepreneurial spirit uh -huh. to do things on their own with their gifts yeah. and make money with that. Yeah. And a lot of times they're stuck with how to do it. How do I get the money? I didn't come from a, you know, a lineage of uh, family who yeah, had well money. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So Uncle Joe d didn't pass <laughs> anything down to me. So where do I start? Right. What do I do? And I'm finding that that's a whole nother world of helping. And which is ultimately what I love to do is help others. It's service. Yes. It's service yes. to others. So God has given you your own niche and he's anointed you for this. So the Fennel Group is the, again, the, the name of the the umbrella, yes. right? So exactly. um, we're going to talk about business funding 
um, in a later segment. Okay. But um, the Fennell Group, I know we were talking on the phone about the names mm -hmm. and all of that, mm -hmm. and that just felt so right, didn't it? It did, because <laughs> I love my name, mm -hmm. and just so you'll know, right. uh, your audience, is it's always been my name. Yeah. And I've embraced wow. it, I love it, and I wanted it to be a part of something that can move along long after I'm gone. Yeah. You know, it's my family name. That's a lineage. And so yeah. uh, that's where it came from. And like you said, it did feel good mm -hmm. uh, to try to come up with a business name. Sometimes people get stuck on that. Right. You know, right. trying to figure it out and be creative with it. Mm -hmm. But my name seemed to kind of be the one that it did, did for it me. It did. And while we were talking um, on the phone that night, mm -hmm. you were talking about excuse me, names, and I was going to write down what it was, but you said it. Really? You I, I said, that's what I was going to tell you, okay. right? Okay. And that, that was the same thing, so that was confirmation yes, to me. Yes, confirmation. Thank um, you for that that was, that was a good a good fit mm -hmm. for, for the name. So the Fennell Group does, well, give me one of the things, because it's going to be a number of things. Okay. But what, are you, what is your focus right now with the Fennell Group? Well, my focus with the Fennell Group is to... Uh, help the person that is in business mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. someone who wants to start a new business okay. obtain financing uh, it's not an easy task yes. for a lot of folks uh, as I mentioned people have gifts and talents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they don't know how to come and bring it together when it comes down to money yeah and financing a business is the blood of the business mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. you're bringing the life to it but the money is what get you rolling drive. yeah so yeah. I'm finding that that's a need that people are just you know they go to banks they get turned down banks are very stoic and uh, sterile mm -hmm. and uh, it's a personal thing to go and ask for money yeah. anyway yeah, like you're begging yeah <laughs> you know so that's intimidating yeah. already so yeah. we want to be able to help the the uh, the business owner the entrepreneur the startup uh, someone's existing can be in business for mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. and uh, to help them grow uh, help them obtain financing okay. without being intimidated and be able to match them with the best type of financing and not get into something that maybe afterwards they're thinking hmm, no, this, didn't, right this yeah. didn't work for me you know wonderful and you know when we talk about purpose we're here to solve a problem Yes. Right. Yes. And so right. you're walking into your purpose because you're solving a problem. Yes. Right. Yes. How do I finance this thing? You know, where do I find? It? Right. And you know, because of your experience, because of what God has given you and anointed you with, you know what to say. You know how to lead them. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how to tell them to avoid the pitfalls and all those kinds of things. Right. You know, so you are solving the problem of funding. <laughs> which is very it's a important. big problem absolutely yes, very important. absolutely yes. so Fennell group you're going to hear a lot a lot more about a lot. The Fennell group. A lot. yes yes and um, just again start to think about you know what God is doing in your in your business in your ministry you know um, what you need and certainly I'm sure that there's something that the Fennell group can help you with thank you absolutely yes right mm -hmm. so how do we contact you you can contact me through uh, email at barbara at finnellgroup.biz, uh, barbara at finnellgroup.com, or thefinnellgroup.com is uh, my email. Okay. So there's, it's the same, and the Finnell Group for Instagram and email. Okay. Okay. And that's an easy way to find her mm -hmm. over all the platforms. Try to keep it consistent. Yes, the Finnell Group. So again, start to think about, you know, what you're needing in your business writing down the questions because it's important that we yes. ask the right questions and certainly you can guide us when we're kind of missing the questions right um, but think about what you need uh, what God has given you and certainly he's always always put someone in positions to help us yes right so mm -hmm. this is the need the financial need the funding need um, certainly God has anointed Barbara with the know-how <laughs> and I like yeah. to think of myself as an advisor mm -hmm. a friend uh, that you can turn to even if there's a question mm -hmm. or if you just don't have a clue as to what to do to get the money uh, we can take a one-on-one -on -one approach with you okay. uh, and share with you what is necessary to make it happen yeah bottom line amen amen mm -hmm. amen and again one of the purposes is to solve a problem in the earth and the Fennell group is one of the means to solve that 
funding problem. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Where we all need to get, you know, you always need supplies, you always need, inf- you know, it's all these things that we always need. That's right. And um, sometimes not knowing how to get. And sometimes you could be stuck. You can mm-hmm. have a business existing and you're at a point where you're not growing. Yes. Uh, yes. And you need to bring in and hire. Mm-hmm. So you're growing, you're expanding, you may need a, a location. Yes. Uh, inventory, if you're, you know, a product mm-hmm. related business is very important. Yeah. If you run out of inventory yes. and people come and want to buy your product, they're going to go <laughs> somewhere else. Um, and their payroll, I think payroll, payroll is really everything key. to hire yes. <laughs> is important. Mm-hmm. If you're growing and you're busting out of uh, your seams, it's almost like you know, you're stagnant mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. can't keep that cash flow. Right. And bringing in more cash flow sometimes help you make more money. And that's the goal of any business. You're not out there just kind of wasting your time. Right. You're there to make a living, feed your family, yes. and do all kinds of things. So the money is a very important feature in any business. You can't just uh, have a business and it doesn't do anything right. for anybody. Because we know yeah. money solves what the Bible says, solves all things. Mm-hmm. But the love of it. Oh, yeah. It's the root yeah. of all evil. Not yeah. money. Not the but money. But it's the love of it. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we are following suit. Again, think about what your business needs and contact the Fennell Group for all of those business needs. Yes. How please. about that? That's great. <laughs> That's yes. wonderful. You won't be disappointed. No. You'll be surprised what's out there yeah. that you may not know about. Yeah. And that's the thing. When you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. But um, you are putting yourself out there to come ask me, you know, and she's, she's very, um, very thorough, always been very thorough. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if there is a stone in it to be, needs to be turned, <laughs> Barbara will get that stone turned and, and get you the information you need. So again, I'm excited for you. Thank you. Barbara. I am excited for you. Yes. Um, excited for the reconnecting. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, I you're miss, gonna see me yeah, a lot more. How about that? <laughs> I miss talking to you yes. and hanging. You know, I miss you so, too. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Mm-hmm. So that's our time. But we you know we always like to leave with a word of ins- inspiration. Okay. Um, how can you inspire um, us today? However, God tells you. Well, I mean, I can. Ex- I think that with my life, uh, you know, regardless of my age or what I might think, um, it's never too late to. Yeah to fulfill your your destiny, your dreams. If you have this business idea that you've been holding back on, or if your business has been stagnant for a while because you don't have the money that you need, then I'm here to tell you there is, there is hope for you. Don't give up. Yeah. Uh, I am inspired by entrepreneurs because they're people who are just like us that have taken an idea or had a gift that they want to share yeah and I believe that um, the inspiration that I can share today is that don't give up on that mm-hmm. the money should not be the reason why you can't do your business or grow your business or yeah. start your business so that's Praise my inspiration it's never too late it should, and I love that it should not be the reason right money should not no, be the reason because mm-hmm. God can supply all of that oh yes. right. so yes. it should not be the reason mm-hmm. so take a deep breath guys <laughs> You know, and call Barbara as you, you know, as you think about the needs that you have um, and just let this get connected. with them. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So that's our time. Again, this is not the last you're going to see of Barbara Fennell from the Fennell Group, but we're just so excited that you were able to reconnect and that they'll be seeing you on a regular basis. Yes. Amen. Amen. And um, again, think about what you need as your business and ask God, you know, what should mm-hmm. I do? And, you know, when he says go to the Fennell Group, go to Fennell Group. That's, you know, just be obedient to what he says. Right, do what he says. You know, okay? So, you won't be disappointed. You won't. You yes. won't. I have a soft touch. Yes. I can be tough, too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth, mm-hmm. too, Brenda. Yeah. You know, especially yeah. when, uh, you know, they want something and they feel like, you know, I can't have it now, but I will always never leave you yeah. hanging. If you can't have it now, we'll set you up for a, uh, a plan yes. that it follow can be done yeah. if you follow, Amen. you know, our advice. Amen. We're advisors, we're friends, and we're family Amen. to all of you. Oh, I love that. Family. And that's that's what we, we promote, family, okay. right? Yes. We are the Heart Ministry Radio Network family, and go. she is a family member. So you're just talking to family. How about that? 
<laughs> right? yes. Okay, so again, thank you for tuning into Heart Ministry Radio Network and Extraordinary People Broadcast. I am your host, Brenda Divers, here with Barbara Fennell from the Fennell Group. We'll talk yes. to you again real soon. God bless you. God bless.